Guys, today's podcast wouldn't be brought to you without our sponsors, Sideline Sports Bar in Salem, open 365 days a year, along with full kitchen menu till 12.30 a.m. nightly. Catch all the action on over 40 HD TVs inside or outside in the 90-foot tent or covered patio with fire pits. There's no better place to have a few drinks and enjoy a game. Follow them at Sideline Salem. And our second sponsor, Uplift Provisions Company. Uplift is a company built right here in Massachusetts. They are a brand built on overcoming life's greatest difficulties. Uplift Provisions Company wants to help you overcome anything and they believe you should look like a badass while doing it find your inner artist and create the best version of yourself using their unique line of hairstyling products regain the confidence to go after the things you've been wanting to conquer it's time to stop waiting it's time to uplift as a company they feel it is very important to give back this means donating time and money to helping others uplift is in their company name and that's what they plan and try to do Uplift Provisions Company donates a portion of all sales to The Family Restored, a nonprofit that helps families and individuals suffering from addiction. You can learn more about this at https semicolon forward slash forward slash thefamilyrestored.org. Also, all of their products are completely hypoallergenic. That's people with eczema or any other skin conditions. Uplift Provisions are all completely safe to use. You can look them up on Instagram at Uplift Provisions CO, Facebook as well. Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode. This is episode three of season two of Mass Appeal, the podcast, hosted by yours truly, Mark Lewis. Guys, I'm here with a couple of guests. My entire family is here today. All right, go around the mic from left to right. Introduce yourselves, guys. What's going on? I'm Justin. Al. And I'm Nico. Okay. Very sure. So that was enthusiastic, guys. Justin, <laughs> who's on the producer board today? What's going on, guys? How we doing? There he is. He's there every week. Crypto's walking around being a creep, just, just creeping everybody out. Um... What are we getting to today? We have a whole slate of shit. Uh, we have some national sports. We have maybe a little bit of local sports. We have uh, the WNBA, the Live Golf Tour. We have this big Antonio Brown question. We have fantasy football general discussion because it's fantasy football season. It's draft season. Everybody's getting ready to make their drafts. Um, we have a, a segment called Mark Tank where these three are going to pitch me ideas and see if I would invest in them. And I'm going to pick who's the best one. Then we have um, I have an open discussion question that I want these guys to like think of off the top of the head. And then our movie of the week is Prey on Hulu. Uh, Jay Fine hasn't seen it because he didn't know it was out. It's been out for like a week and a half, almost two weeks. Don't know go. how you missed that. I know I got to catch up tonight. Yeah, but... that's kind of amateur hour. I'm not going to lie to you. But you watched the trailer eight times in a row. I did. Yeah, I got a good idea good. of what happens. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Just Same. going over the fine details. Yeah, me too. Yeah, there we go. So let's open up with this. Um... Can we actually, hold on one second. Sure. Before we get into the topics, can we get into how you gave us the wrong address and made us park 20 minutes yeah. down the road? Oh, it wasn't I'm, 20 I'm, minutes down the road. very easy to get so here. It wasn't 20 so minutes down the road at all. I, listen, I've never felt so lost. Now that I realize, I thought I was like a city kid and had like natural surrounding ability. We were stuck on a street. We had no idea. That Nico, you were literally around the corner. From well, the you know what? Before. That just goes to show you have terrible directions. No, that's all. It's, it's literally you were there. You said it was so easy. You gave us one address. It is. Then you said, after we're already here, put this address in your GPS. Yep. And we're already walking around. So from like eight a couple, to two. A couple of hoodlums. So it's not like I said, it. first off, you were literally down the street. We were poking our heads in barber shops. No, you guys were. We you, guys, you, guys probably, you guys actually, I went in my. The cops if, rolled up and from said, what it sounds what like, you guys actually just now? came. Just came right here, to we be honest like with three you. three morons. Just no, you didn't. Around. You put no, us further like and brought us back in three separate times. What's up with no. the two different addresses? There's not two different addresses. Why didn't you just say pizza I just gave Maria's. you one that would be easier to find. So that we right. could have just saved a lot of time right. if you just gave us that one. I kind of blame that on Jay Fine because he could have just okay. told me that to begin with. So I'm going to deflect You've been that here right a million times. Yeah, that's true. You're the host. Well, like, what do you want me to Why host. does it smell like oranges in here suddenly? Not to change the subject. Is Craig like spraying like a Clementine spray? I actually kind of like yeah, it. That's, I, that's, that's, that's our air freshener here. I love it. Yeah. Like, I just, just know where that. For an yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it on the table right there. He definitely just spritzed it up. I, I will I say thought it was he's deflecting breath. already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no he changed no, the no topic deflection. real fast. Now, listen, be yeah. on your toes. You want to be a part of the show? What do you want me to tell you? It might change. Okay. Things might when happen. When we get to the list, when okay. we get to the list, the let's address get to the list. Right We're ready for your dog shit times. opinions. Let's open with the WNBA discussion. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so um, um, uh, uh, I don't want to say a meme, but an image came across my Facebook yesterday of a WNBA player. She's sitting on the bench. She's um, She's got a shirt on. And it says, pay us all equally. And then on the back, it says, if you can't, just say that. So it's kind of this taunting, kind of mocking thing at the NBA, you know, or WNBA ownership, whomever is really, it comes down from to whereas, again, we're getting to this equal pay, like with women, it's specifically in the WNBA thing, right? And here's what it comes down to, is that the WNBA is what? Now. It's a dog shit product. Well, that, okay, but like at its core, like from a business standpoint, what is the WNBA? I think it loses money. 
it, again, correct. But like, what is the WNBA? It's a subset area of the NBA. Yes. Yeah. Correct, right. It's directly. It's funded, like a minor funded, leagues. Correct. It's directly funded by the NBA, NBA owners. Just yep. like, like you just said, what did you say? The, the minor leagues. It's like the minor Triple leagues. Triple A, double A, yep. single A baseball, the fucking G League, all the shit, right? So here we get back to, we circum back to this product. Is why, why, why is this an issue for the WNBA justice? I'll tell you why. Why is that? Name three WNBA. Teams. I was just going to say, okay. Justin, so I'm not, that, I just, just reading your brain. That's how you know we're family. I just said to myself, you know, if someone put a gun to my head and said, name four WNBA teams, you're going to my funeral. Cause I can't, there's no way in hell. The, the problem is that no one, the, the problem is that like, no, one, I know the LA Sparks because Lisa Leslie always played. Bullshit, for the LA Sparks Michael, you know, she's... everyone. I actually no. know a few of them. I'm not going to lie about that. No, it's but the know. fact of the matter them. is, is that you have to, in order to pay your players, it's all in a ratio to how much money you make. That's it. They have no TV rights because no one wants to watch it. They play it, Mohegan Sun, that Connecticut team, and three people show up to the. To is the that match. really what? Wait, that's really where they play? Doesn't the Mystic or whatever it's called? It's like the guy that. I didn't know. I thought they played at the. Uh, Mohegan Sun. I thought they played at the old fucking yeah. like Hartford Whale. And it's, it's like people that probably get a free ticket to the free lunch and play. Oh, go watch the WNBA. No, it's the game. guy from the tropics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm still laughs> yeah. They'd probably get more from viewers. From the other though. side of the court. <laughs> if they were doing stuff like that, they'd get more viewers. Put, how much are they? There's a reason why. Not to bring up Brittany Grant. There's a reason why she went to go play in russia yeah Is they, a, a lot of them do it they pay more money they do a lot of them yeah. do it a lot of them play overseas and, and you could actually make an argument that they're overpaid how much do they make a there's like a pretty i, I would say what is your app can we get a stat check on what the average wnba player makes per year? yeah i'll look no, at the I think it's more bro well i'm not gonna lie. i think it's, it's like, like a box grand. of airheads 500 no. grand average i swear to christ i think it's like 500 dollars it's, like it's, 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 uh, it's not like the mls the where they're the <laughs> wow. and a free okay. ping pod hold on we got j5 j5 what do we all right so all right look the average salary for a WNBA player is a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Oh shit! Right. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Right. I was off. Wow. So they're always right. they're getting six figures, and you know how much money the WNBA loses per year? Isn't it like twenty five million dollars a year? Or it's something like it's that? twelve million. It's ten to twelve million a year. Yeah, how okay. Ten to twelve million a year. But stand to pay people. But then here's the here's the other question. Is, here's all the TV now, rights from now the NBA go over to them. Now that leads to my next question. The, the WNBA's inception was what twenty five years ago, about twenty seven years ago ish. I don't know uh, if they're at 30 yet. I'm not sure. Yeah, actually, when the WNBA came like mid not like late 90s, no they idea. came no, about. I follow real sports, Marco. I don't know. Okay, I'm the, just saying, but like, it was founded uh, 1996. Okay, so they're 26 Six Six years. years old. Yeah. Name me a business that is still in business after losing money 26 years in a row. They've never netted a profit. A they point. Point. They're not, never netted a product. They're not a business. What's another business that's done that? They're a charity case. That's, they're not a business. That's all it is. But that's my point. It's like name a business that would still be in business t- after losing money 26 years in a row. Well, you can't get rid of it. No, you can't. But no, like, what the fuck? Are you gonna, and no, I, you I know, imagine that shit still. Yeah. No, but the other thing is like, the I other would. problem that they run into is like, I feel like every time yeah, this too. comes up and you hear one of these players bitching about this shit. It just like makes them look corny and bad. It makes people want to make fun of it more. Listen, do you we, know what I mean? We love women. We respect women. They're amazing. I don't want to watch you play fucking basketball. You know who else? No, no one want wants to watch, watch the fundamentals. I don't even like watching dunks. regular men's basketball. Never mind women's basketball. It's not. It's just ridiculous. And to, to piggyback off your point, you know who else doesn't want to watch women's basketball? Women. women. Yep. yep. Women don't. Real women sports fans that are like diehard sports fans, because they're out there. They're absolutely out there, right? Guess what? They're buying tickets to men's professional baseball, basketball, hockey, football, whatever the hell. College sports. College sports. Buying that merchandise. So you're saying product matters. Product absolutely no fucking shit. matters. And I would, I would go on and, and I would go on and argue, right, that the WNBA is the least entertaining of every women's sport. The women's softball World Series is awesome. Oh yeah, I'll watch the, absolutely. The Women's World Cup is great. Yep. That's fun. Soccer, women's yeah. tennis, fun if you're into tennis, right? Yep. I'm not. Even women's golf is kind of fun. You know what I mean? Like, it's there's other, pro- like, women's sport products that, women's rugby, dude, they lay each other the fuck out. It's good. It's the same as the men. Women's hockey could benefit from letting women hit and fight, I think. Any women's so crazy. Uh, Olympic yeah. Oh, yeah. sport, I'll yeah. watch. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. Why not? Skiing. 
They can't. Yeah, I mean, they, I can't they, do they that shit for the life, so I think that shit's really impressive. They, they yeah, crush absolutely. it, man. That shit's tough. Yeah. What's the season? How many games they play in a year? That's Let's another. See, that's it's it's going to be a shortened season because it's only off for Al, like they eight play, weeks. Al, they play, they, Al, they play 36 games. So they're college they, players. So they're college They play a fucking they, college 36 schedule. 36 games, yeah. yeah. 36 they play games. a college fucking schedule, so they're like one third of what the NBA players make. But you want the same amount of money, you work a third of the time. That's like me having a year-round job and you only work in the winter and asking for the same amount of money. I think that their season two is in like the most irrelevant relevant time in sports like i think it's right now I'm sorry and that's like the driest time for sports like everyone's just yeah because they want because they don't want to nico like, they can't compete nico, nico, they can't compete for viewership he, yeah he like he was no they can't before, yeah. so TV, technically they TV, right? already are getting equal pay if you really think about it well Close to i it. mean there's still a little bit here's what low. i say i think that you can't blame them for asking for more money working eight weeks why wouldn't you ask for i know that but i'm just no of course we get that in like the met and like you got Grown men still doing that whole demand and hire thing. So you I mean, got like, fucking yeah. McDonald's workers picking outside the thing. Why wouldn't? Why are you gonna harm? Why are you gonna like care if they ask for more money? You can say no. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know how they would really put their chips on the table? Boycott. See who? who see who who's gonna own no, it? Fucking care. That's my fucking point, no, though. I know, yeah. yeah. The so NBA like, will be fucking happy. The NBA on us. The like, players oh, we can, would we can be pocket the, more dough. The, play, the NBA yeah, guys the, would be like, oh, cool. Throw spread that all. Spread the the hundred million dollars you spend to run this fucking. They'd be like, yeah, you just save this. Yeah, you just save this. Yeah, exactly. And again, like I said, you never fucking boycott if you want scared to people to just say walk away. It's like being in a relationship. You don't just be like, oh, go find someone else. Unless you're really fucking confident that person isn't going to go find someone else or you don't give a fuck. Right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So you got those WNBA players. They go, oh, we're just not going to show up and no one gives a shit. Then guess what? That 120 goes to zero. Exactly. Hey, that's that's you know what, what I mean? it comes down and to. And they just man. cancel the league. But they were already they were already yeah. not showing up. Yeah. That's <laughs> my point. Right. Exactly. Like it's so it's a weird thing. They're sitting there like, again, with this equal pay thing, the women's world, the women's soccer team had a point. Because they do the same, they, they do the same numbers as men, just about. Yeah. Like I would say, if there's one thing, like soccer is kind of on an even playing field in the United States, as far as that goes. Like it's men a lot, and, and they actually no matter what, and they're nasty, yeah, and, and they're, they're a world class team, yeah. dude. They yeah. fucking run shit. They're, People they're, actually like to watch. I don't know what they do viewer wise, but I think they'd be pretty. They equal. do pretty. They do about the same as the men's team, which is like a good amount of millions of people come like World Cup time and shit like that. You know what I mean? But again, respectable. They deserve the same. Yeah, they deserve the same amount of fucking money. You do the same shit. You bring in the same revenue. Yes, you deserve the same amount of money. You know what I mean? Moving on to the next. Do we have any? Anybody have any more points they want to throw out no, there? Fine. I was just say quick, quick yeah, trivia. Fine, absolutely. Please. Quick, quick trivia. Fine. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the team nickname. You tell me if you can tell me like this what city they're geez. from. Yeah, this, this All right. team nicknames. All right, ready? Let's throw this out there. Okay. Uh, where are the Fever from? Chicago, Phoenix, yeah, Arizona. No, maybe? no, 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 nope. Colorado. Indiana. Jesus. Fuck okay. Okay. Uh shock. This is fun. The, dude. Aren't they aren't they LA as <laughs> well? Seattle. Isn't there two LA? No, there no. can't be two LA. Someone Tulsa. Fuck. Uh, is that? Tulsa. Tulsa. Is that? I am Tulsa. Tulsa. Color me shocked. Color me shocked. Uh, uh, you paint my the tits red. From the fucking tropics on like that, dude. That it had those fucking. These names beans. are ridiculous. Dude. Absolutely. Let's Where's do like Tulsa. By the way, is that Oklahoma? Oklahoma, I think. Let's do like two more. Uh, where the Where did the dream play? The Chicago. You've said Chicago yeah. fucking three <laughs> times. Oh, it's so many. Like, clearly, it's not a big fucking city. Dream. Um, J-, J-, J Fine, by the way, we're doing all of them. There's like 10 Seattle. teams. Seattle? There's actually more than you think. Is yeah. there really? 16. That's yeah. another problem. There's too many fucking teams. There's, right, there's, a, lo- there's a lot of teams. What you say? What was the nickname? The Dream. Cincinnati. No, hold on. Nico I'm thinking it has something yeah. to do with Martin Luther King. Where's Martin Luther King from? Alabama, right? I'm going to suck if I. I'm going to say the wrong thing. You think Washington. that they would have one, though? No, fuck no. Albert, they have no professional sports teams. Yeah, I, who would you think fucking Tulsa would have one? Yeah, right. no clue. But well, who is my point? You know, you were you were actually on the right track. It's Atlanta. That's yeah, where. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Come that's on, that's how we're gonna start yeah, talking this keep, through, Mark. Keep going. You're right. Uh, keep going. All right. Uh, the shock. Wait. Did I, oh, did we just you just did say the shock? shock? Yeah, we just did shock. Tulsa mm. was shocked, right? No. Oh, there's. Two? Yeah, they have two shocks. Oh my oh god. god! What madness? What's going on? Madness! What if I'm wearing a shock jersey, they don't know where the fuck I'm, where I'm from, or who I'm repping. I mean, unless what's one blue that? and what's one's red, unless they moved. This? Okay, all right, hold on. We well, gotta fucking tell you. All right, no, no, no. So the shock are currently in Detroit, but they're moving next year to Tulsa, so they listed them twice. Uh, the shock right. makes sense. Uh, they, hold on, wait a second. Okay. Wait a second. The shock. So oh, you're telling me? No. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, but they were already named that. No, but they Detroit to start. 
Oh, Same yeah, thing as okay, yeah. Detroit Shock, right? Like Shocks and a guy. Well, yeah, so no. since the Red Wings, it's all right? like automotive right? Detroit right? sports, right? No. Wait a second. Hold on. Dude, yeah. no. so that tells no. me, Nico, what are you talking about? It's, it's not t- fucking a shock like in a car, dude. It's shock like a, a lightning bolt shock, like electric Maybe shock. Maybe it has a double meaning, dude. And that, no, <laughs> what's hold the, on. What's we can't logo? move on. What's look the logo what the look like? The logo's a, kind of like a shocky bolt looking thing. Okay. Fuck All right. yeah. All right. <laughs> right. He's right. Give it to him. All right. Shocky Wait a second. Wait a second. So I need to make a point here. Yeah. It's a shock. I don't need to make a bigger shock. Hold on. Yeah, because you guys. I need to make get that fucking Detroit, pistons. Yeah, the no. Detroit thing. You guys are going to the Detroit thing. Too I bad. need to make a point here. So you're telling me yeah. if you relocate cities, that means business is bad, right? And you got to move somewhere else where you think you'll do better in a sports franchise, right? Yeah. I guess. They're yeah. From, okay. They're going from Detroit to Tulsa. I feel like you're Detroit's telling me a great you sell, you're, you, you're telling me you couldn't sell tickets in Detroit, Michigan, one of the biggest cities in America, and your next best bet was Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's I mean, the promised land? Well, damn, they got all the other cities covered, honestly. That's There's like, so many like, goddamn like, teams. What, what's our team? How many teams are there? Let's yeah, wait. The is there, is the there a Boston team? Closest one is Connecticut. Wait, I was going to say, yeah. that's we, the Mystic or something. We got the, the, we got the, we got the Connecticut Sun. Yeah, that's right. Okay, oh, Mohegan. And, uh, oh, Mohegan. Yeah, I think yeah, that's the closest one to us. Uh, all right, last one. Who's this guy? What do they play? Yeah! He was yeah, bound to be go. Go. Nah, Why'd you, yeah, why'd you do that? You know, because I was hoping he was going to get something else. One of us had to get it right. Fine, <laughs> that he gave a fucking <laughs> Chicago one. I knew he was going to say Chicago <laughs> again. Chicago, <laughs> baby. He's banging on one. All right, okay, next so step. the names don't make any sense no, to the city. No fucking no. clue. Okay. The only one that makes sense is the Connecticut Sun because they play at Mohegan. Okay, see? Yeah. Ah, yeah, there. I don't want to drop that knowledge on you. I still got Okay, so the next thing is the Live Golf Tour. Jay Fine, right? Yes. Can I get your opinion on this really quick before we like go before we do the, sure, the yeah. panel here? Because you're a golf guy, you you know. Kinda, I mean, like, not really. I, just, I I have a golf show, but I'm not the golf guy. All right, well, even still, all right just yeah. Just leave the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, what do you want me to say about it? What's your opinion on it? On well, list, I think. General? I well, I just think. Well, in, no. I think in general, it's probably a good idea. Like I think the PGA kind of is has a lot of holes, and people like are exploiting that. And the golf is obviously going where the money is. They um, pay fucking bank. Yeah, they're just there's just a ton of money, and and they're just eating away at the PGA. So, I mean, I but the PGA just, screwed itself. Agreed. So you we'll get to, right. So yeah. today, there is a meeting being held by the players, like a lot of PGA tour guys. Yep. Uh, no, one particular guy is leading that charge. Yeah, yeah. Tiger and, and the he's the greatest golfer of yeah, all time. Tiger it's Woods like Captain be, America called the right? Avengers to the team. <laughs> <laughs> so Tiger Woods exactly. is going to be there. Big Dick Eldrick right. showing yeah. up. So what do you think this is about? Because a guy on the – actually, I read the article on Barstool that Banks wrote, and a guy in the comments made a really good point. The PGA Tour is very stagnant. They're very complacent. Yep. In other words, the purses haven't gone up. Okay, they haven't gone up. That's not true. Oh. They go up every single year. Do so they? Yes, it's not true. Will Zell Torres just won last week, won $2.7 million. We're going to stop fucking crying over Will Zell Torres. No, we're not crying over the Willie thing. Willie Z walks saying. away with almost $3 million no, 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 all of a sudden. No, no, That's not that's a big nothing. fucking check. No, I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not. All I'm saying is the WNBA players will be sucking dick in the yeah. bleaches <laughs> for that kind of paycheck. <laughs> 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 it's, um, what was I going to say? But they, they could use that lift so off money. So they play with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't. just don't respect women, Saudi Arabia. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the other right, problem. So is that like that's the They issue. just got so their driver's license over there. They, so. can, they just print money, dude. Because when, you, when you're fucking buying oil from them, think about how much money they have. Okay. They can afford. They like put the in $3 billion dollars to live golf. So they can just go $3 billion, $3 billion, $3 billion, Just keep giving it, giving it, and giving it. Because it doesn't matter. PGA Tour is trying to pride itself on business. How do you compete with endless money? That's the question for PGA Tour. How do you compete? So what they have have to do is they have to put them put them in a dark light and maybe so they've tried the moral clause. Nico, 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 they tried the moral clause, basically trying to shame these people for going over there. Right. Hasn't really worked. Not at all. If someone comes up to you tomorrow, all right, and is like, I'll give you a hundred and fifty thousand million dollars just to come work for fucking BuzzFeed, would you do it? Probably, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, I would hope you would. Yeah. It's 150 million dollars. That's generational, generational wealth, wealth is what they're offering. Absolutely. And guess what? They their tournaments are fewer between eight a year right now. It's going to be 14 next year, and they only have to do 54 holes in a tournament. 54 holes, no cut. So they're making money every single time. Their purses are bigger. So how can you blame these guys? So you Can't have to. At all. You have to basically say in your head, 
these people are bad people for taking that money. But you can't say that because no one's ever offered you a check for that much money. Absolutely not. And then it's like your own government takes money, has taken an absurd amount of money from these people over the years. But, but here's my question. It's an obscene amount of money. Obscene amount. Of, what, talking like almost a trillion dollars. They, we've basically funded them. And Legit. Biden just went over there and whatever. Yeah, don't have to thing, get right? What, what did these people owe the PGA? What Not, did they fucking owe nothing, dude. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're right. Absolutely so here's nothing. the thing, though. I agree with the PGA not letting them play on the tour. Why would you why would you let them have their cake and eat it too? Oh, I agree with that. But these I, people I they want to file a lawsuit and say we should be able to oh, no, they do bitches, both. man. You, you pick, can't do you, both. You pick the bag, no. so just stick with the bag and just do that tour. That's, That's it. it. I, PJ's I, like, no, you're not coming back on over here and then get a dip into Opti. Oh, no, you can't no. have the money no, do and then like you want, free. Like, you oh, want to have those friends. you want to win historic tournaments. It's just not gonna happen. It's a new tour. You lose the history. You might lose the mass. You might not be able to play in the masses. The majors is the way they have to hit them. You have to hit them by saying you can't play in the majors. The problem is the PGA Tour doesn't run the majors. The major turners are run individually. The masters run the masters. Yes. The RNA runs the open. Never knew that. What about like, because honestly, dude, watching like some of the major golf tournaments, the crowds are fucking crazy. I've heard golf events. I've never been to one. I've heard. Oh, yeah. They're fucking nuts. And now are these live ones? Are they like? Just more money, but like I heard they're more of a party, more, more but it seems like they're just giving away. Like oh, it's more yeah. of a party. Here's well, what's going to happen. Seen those Saudi Nico? Arabia, like you, like United Arab, like Dubai golf courses and shit. Yeah, like but that. like, say if someone like fucks around, and acts like an idiot, then those people are the ones taking care of you. They're going to kill you. His, no, oh, and they're in the fucking America. Go. They're doing one in fucking Bolton, Massachusetts next week or whatever on the Bolton, Massachusetts. Yeah, the fucking international. They're going to be giving tickets away. You're going to be driving in your car. They're going to use some fucking geo shit and send you an email. Be like, oh, come to us for one dollar. You pay one dollar, you go into the fucking thing they can't sell these they can't give these fucking tickets away here's my enough. here's my oh, people don't want to go not, and see it that's really? the problem so how are they going to make money how are they going to make money right how are they going to make it a marketable product here's can't. here's my question but they don't need that right they don't uh, need it how okay. much does the average nfl quarterback make i would say a now year? about 35 million dollars no 30. average complete tyler Murray just signed for 46 million you say the average one makes 32 okay this fucking there's Long fucking 64 it. quarterbacks in the league now we're uh, talking well, starter. What yeah, are we talking? True. All right, let's fine. say twenty million. Sure. Okay, just for sake of argument, twenty million. Now the XFL calls the same quarterback and says, "I'll give you fifty million to play for me." They tried to do that. Donald Trump tried to do that in like the nineties, like USFL. Yeah. Remember, yeah. he yeah. took Herschel Walker. He took a few big guys, but it's still folded. It's mm-hmm. tough to make money. Really but hard when you have an unlimited bankroll. Mm-hmm. Doesn't fucking matter. Now, can you? Would you be like, oh, would you? Why wouldn't Kyle Murray go to the other league? Absolutely. So. Right. It's these people, uh, Tiger Woods got offered seven hundred to eight hundred billion dollars to go over. He said, "No, fuck that." It looks like it's. I'm trying much. to win majors. Those the, those tournaments mean more to me. I got a want limited the time left. They right. want the prestige. I mean? and so right. he cool. wants the prestige. He wants to be known now, as the I person. Think, What's he gonna do? Stop going fucking set and live golf tournaments? No, he's still out oh, like the fucking legends that are do, in the PGA. Do, do I think put, they should be banned for life for making a jump? No, absolutely. I don't not. think they'll be banned for life. I think they'll be banned as long as they're on the tour, and then they maybe they'll have to serve a year suspension afterwards. Now, that would be my. Opinion. I I think what but you I don't mean, know. what if they were smart, they'd come up with some kind of like Super Bowl tournament where but like they're, everybody they're, they're meets subcon- and goes at it. They're subcontractors, aren't they? Not they're, technically. No, you're an employee of the PGA Tour. You sign a contract. With the yes, tour. you have a contract, and like they, you have to play in so many what majors or uh, events a year. They have to like request that. permission to play in outside tournaments. So they requested permission. And they were like, "No, you're not fucking playing in this new up and coming tour. Like it's not happening." Yeah, I don't right. know. They fucked it up to a PGA Tour. They should have just been paying them a little more money. They're making billions of dollars a year. They should have just fucking spread it around. Yeah, spread but it around that's the everywhere. But I thought like Everybody the 18th place in fucking money. golf nowadays still walks away with like six figures. No. Don't they get paid? I mean, like, oh, like, I, mean I think it's. Oh, uh, I mean, it's, I a, it's, it's a lot, lot of money. money. But you have to make the cut. So this is where people like you know you have to make the cut. So the top 60, 70 people have to make the cut to get paid. Otherwise, you're paying out your caddy, you're paying out the hotel for the week. It costs a lot of money if you're not good. If you're a middle in person, oh, if you're a middle shit. in person, Man. you can lose money, dude, on the tour. Think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you need sponsorships. You need to be able to fucking make cuts and make sponsorships. Uh, it's a tough grind, man. Yeah. The PGA no. Tour is not easy. But that's why hot. you see a lot of has-beens going over there. Like, it's so much easier for them to take the money and go. Right. I think it's shocking for, like, Cameron Smith is saying he's going over because he's, like, number two in the world. Probably going to be that Aussie guy? World. Yeah. What the fuck? Why, his his value, fucking when's his value ever going to be higher, though? perverted muscle. Yeah, true. I know. <laughs> it's know just like, I mean? he's Dude, a young you kid. That guy's a savage. Yeah, he's awesome. He looks like a fucking, he looks like a, it's a good time. He looks like, it looks like Gollum like. if he was a fucking golfer. <laughs> it's fucking weird, bro. 
like I said, you can't you can't deny a hundred mil no check. That's, Are we moving on to the uh, the Antonio Brown fucking? Would you rather, Jay? Fine, you ready for this? Yeah, let's. Do, I mean, you're gonna have to hit me with some good ones to get me to uh, say I'd rather take him over Antonio well, Brown. Well, Brown. Well, just go go person by person. You can play the back. You can play the music in the background That's if you want. Long. It's like a rapid fire thing. Just stop it at each person. Okay. All right. So, the, All right. so you so want the me to play the like, actual TikTok? All right. Yeah, I have a question. Are we doing um, <laughs> fictional people or realistic no, people? Real people? Realistic yeah. people. It's real. It's real. All right. Devonte Adams. No, you missed the first one. No. Yeah, you did. Uh-huh. Yes, you did. I'm telling you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I thought I'm pretty sure that was the first one. Let me see. So tell you. All right. So I'll tell you who the first one is. Oh, the uh, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. Okay. You would. Who would you rather? Uh, Instead of this is prime Antonio Brown versus prime these people. Yeah, okay, so at, are we? Ta- let's talk parameters. Are we talking whole career? We're just talking two to three it's years. Just, would you, it's just. It's the prime. Yeah. The, the, the prime. They're prime. The Their prime. Any Antonio's yeah, prime. Antonio so Brown's you, prime versus these people's so, prime. So his prime is let's say three years. So I would agree. Three with that. years versus someone else's. It could be ten years. Their prime. It, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Like I just want to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like take Antonio Brown's best three question. years. You could say or against Larry Fitzgerald. That changes everything, right? Because you'd obviously yeah, no, rather Larry Fitz's career, like but both of, yeah, but both of them. See, their I impacts, think you gotta. Yeah, yeah. you gotta make it. It's just. Prime year versus prime year. Yeah, that's what, it, that's, what it, that's what I'm pretty sure the question is. So I, I would say that I think it, Antonio Brown was more dominating at any single point than Larry Fitz was. I would just, and I, I just, I would disagree. But more dependable is I would go Larry. Larry. I would agree. I would agree with that too. I think Long Larry run. Fitzgerald was one more durable. Two, yeah, had just as good of hands. Three, just as good a route runner. Four, here's the deciding factor. Would win more 50 50 balls. He's a bigger, stronger, more physically gifted guy. He's dropped like three that. passes in his whole life. He dropped three Sherry. passes. A- so I, I'm, Larry a- Fitzgerald a- is my yeah. pick. That's why. AB is my. Uh, so I would say Larry. He is dependable, but Antonio Brown is more exciting to watch. That's a fair uh, assessment, I guess. Al? <sighs> That's a tough one. I, I think you go Larry. I think you go Larry, also locker room. 100%. Locker room. Yeah. That's a good point. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I would go over. So, I mean, AB is going to lose almost every locker room battle, though. We of have. course he is. <laughs> I think Larry Fucking Fitzgerald Kansas is the closest is thing we've seen to a modern day Jerry Rice. No. As far as like player makeup and like style of being That's crazy. You're wow. insulting Jerry Rice. Why? Better run up, Jerry. better hands. You're insulting Jerry Rice. I'm now, saying I'm not Larry saying, Fitzgerald I don't think is he was the closest as, thing as we've cocky. seen to Jerry Rice, is my, what I'm saying. I'm saying, I don't know. Should I repeat myself one more time? You're insulting Jerry Rice. Nico, give you a take. We've got to get Nico's take, sorry. No, Look up stats. Yet. Look up the stats, kid. AB's prime year, like one, it was 130 receptions. Yeah, I was gonna say 140. Yep. One of them he had was that 1700 yards. The other one he had 1800 yards. Touchdowns. He had 13 TDs and then 10 TDs. What year was that? 2013, 14. 14 and 50. Yeah. All right, why don't you get Larry's, get Larry's stats on? Well, well, we gotta, here, Jay Fine's got to get the stats. We got to get Jay Fine to do the stats. Jay Fine's the stat guy. I'm going, a, I, I'm going A, B. Listen, okay, let's just think about the prime. We didn't know about the uh, fucking, the insane crazy shit that the guy ended up doing and how he went completely A wall. A, B was a killer. A, B's an unbelievable route, le- uh, route runner. He can make the play. He can make the contested catch, even not being like six foot three. He's like all of like, I think like maybe like six feet. AB and Tony O'Brien is my height, 5'10". 5'10"? Five five yeah. yeah, but like it, it wouldn't even matter. I don't think you're 5'10". Like, he, like t- he had like a Tyree. So you don't think I'm 5'10"? Yep. He had like a Tyree kill to him, but I he was better than, than him. About. He's an inch shorter than you. All right, I, so hey, Larry Fitz, the most receptions he had in a year was 109. Wow. That was 2015. His How many odds? Uh, that year he had 1,023. His best year for yards was... Uh, 1411 yes yeah. 1400 and 1411 was, i think if we put a, you on yeah, that fucking thing this 2011 a, yeah. a, B in, a b in five years in a row starting at 2013 1500 yards 1700 yards 1800 yards 1300 yards 1500 yards 13 that was with 16 games that was with 16 yeah games. but then you gotta go quarter who is his quarterback versus who you know big ben was impossible to take down so he had yeah, so much ben, more ben, time. I, I've always said Ben Roethlisberger might be the toughest guy ever in the NFL. Absolutely. Say what you want, but that guy was a fucking horse. Uh, he's tra- he's a statue. Like, like, yeah. You cannot tackle. <laughs> just I mean, Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, don't. I just turn AB. 
We just rattle off five years of EBA. I'm still taking. I'm still taking. And Roethlisberger's the toughest. Hold on, wait a second. I'm still. I'm still taking Larry Fitzgerald. Okay, good. Yeah, but but you could have. Who was throwing to him? Who was Larry Fitz? I like Larry Fitz. 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 Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner was good for a couple years with the Cardinals. Then they went to Carson Palmer. Palmer. Carson yeah, Palmer was good. Palmer's a bum. No, nah, Carson Palmer had another good career. <laughs> he had another good career. And like a little resurgence. Yeah, yeah, he he had like, um, doesn't he hold records at USC? Yeah, like yeah in college. We're going to talk yeah. about college now. I'm not talking about college. Okay. Time out. Because you guys said some crazy ass bullshit about Reggie Bush being the most dominant NCAA player. Well, he is. He, no, he is. Wasn't. He Nico. Is. Johnny Manziel was. Nico, Johnny, Johnny Manziel, Manziel was good for a year. That's because he was wiping his fucking ass at that time. You probably couldn't even wipe your ass 2006. Reggie Bush is the best college player to ever. Play. Play. Hands down. Yes, he is. With such Nico, a dud there, professional Nico, there career. Yeah, early. such a such a bum. He didn't have a bad pro career. He had a he what? Had, what compared to what he was in college. He was a serviceable. He was a, he was a he good, was a fucking baby back bitch who it, got hurt constantly. He didn't was, translate. Was, I didn't look at his stats. Now y'all trying to say it was Johnny Manziel. That's where we come into into a little bit of a beef because you're saying it's Johnny Manziel was the best, right? That's your he, was must watch one must watch can't do you know how many must watch players have been in college football you don't understand how must watch reggie bush was matt line at that fucking team people will say that's the best fucking team when we all used to watch that fucking kid run around fucking paul that with that fucking highlight jake paul no not fucking what was that kid that used to run paul he had the most viral fucking nfl video it was like a pop one thing it was like make it rain was like the fucking youtube thing it's got like Crazy oh, head. you're talking the little kid playing. Yeah, the yeah, little okay. fucking kid playing. Anyway, that doesn't matter. That's <laughs> that that's matter. crazy. That's, <laughs> that's dude. The dumbest thing ever. And never mind. They took away Reggie Bush's Heisman because he what was it signatures? He's a bitch. Because he sold signatures. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was. It was like before, how before, fucking so, stupid so that is. Stupid. That yeah. so dumb. It was uh, Jay. Fine. Who's the next person? The next comp? Uh, Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams. Yeah, I picked Devontae Adams again. I think right. I would take Devontae Adams, too. I take Devontae then. Adams, too, for the same exact reason. I think this is going to get redundant. For the I same pick Devontae ex- Adams, too. Okay. No, it's not. it gets better when you get when you get along. Trust okay. me. I watch the whole thing. Nico? Uh, I mean, fuck you guys, dude, because I'm not going to sit here and say he oh, I want Antonio Brown. No, no. <laughs> Antonio Brown, dude, I can like that. Those five years are fucking really That's good. exactly how I heard it, too. Huh? All right. I said that. So right. you I heard it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. So are you picking, wait, so you picking, wait, so picking, wait, so picking Antonio Brown? I'm taking it. Okay, next person. We can keep it going rapid. All right, next person. Uh, so we have the TikTok figure. CD Lamb. No, I'll take uh, CD Lamb. Terrell Owens. Is that, is that Terrell? That I is? take I take Terrell Owens. Uh, I take To personally. I don't yeah. even like To, but no, I take it's definitely it's hundred percent To. It's To, right? It wasn't To. You remember that fucking Super Bowl on a fucking broken leg? Does yeah. anybody remember that? I, I, yeah. you like can, you can, broken. I said, that no, 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 that was no, fucking his, broken. His leg was yeah. broken for and, most and of the year. He just had a fucking pulled hammy. Had to take a shit. Come on, is he, is he really no To really? Leg? I gotta say, broken. Nico, he just he missed the playoffs. To might might have been a fucking loser, like an asshole. I don't say that to me. I I mean, To was a little bit of a drama queen, no doubt. But don't say he's a fucking loser. But To was a gamer. I had to give him credit. Hundred percent. I would. He loved, loved this fucking team. I would have loved for him to play. That's my Patriots. quarterback. And that that's quarter- my quarterback. Let me just also say this now that we're on this fucking stupid. Uh, I remember that fucking scene. Tony Romo sucks, bro. Tony Romo fucking Tony Romo, sucks. Tony Romo was all right. Wait, are you talking as like an announcer or are you like, talking no, as a quarterback? I like him as an announcer. No, he sucks, bro. I love him. Do you like, he was do you good like for, Romo in the booth? I, I love Romo I love Romo. Yeah, I love Romo in the booth. Yeah, yeah, just, you he was good for big? eight fucking weeks. Now he's wrong half the fucking time. He's wrong more than Marco, which is a fucking big fucking deal. <laughs> <laughs> he is, might be right 25% of the time, and everyone's like, oh my God, let me suck Romo's dick off. He's like, oh, he called it was going to be a run. The whole fucking place knew he was going to run. It's fucking fourth and Inches. What are you talking about? They like, got Derek Henry back. You, you, they're in a fuck. They got two tight ends. They just brought a fucking left tackle in at fullback, and they're gonna run Romo. Oh wow! It's, it's the Titans wow. on the goal line. It's the Titans on the goal yeah, line with no Derek shit. Henry. Yes. <laughs> Here comes the play action. I fucking hate Romo, dude. I think that's so boring. You really like someone sitting there trying to guess every fucking play? Like, yes, I, I think it's when he's wrong too. I yes, love how much he folded under pressure, though. Who? Rome. Oh, yeah. In, oh, yeah. He was, in game? Oh, yeah. He had oh, no my God. Do you remember so when ever. he couldn't even take the snap? That was yeah. probably his biggest fault ever. Couldn't oh, catch the snap. Hilarious. Oh, you mean the, on, the field goal? Oh, the field goal. Field goal. Oh, yeah. Was he a rookie? Yeah, 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 was that his rookie yeah, yeah. year? That was fucking wild. Fucking bomb. That was his rookie year. Fuck Romo, dude. Maybe dude, his second year. Though. They celebrate Romo. Like, I, I would take Phil Rivers 10 times over fucking And Joe you know what else I don't trust? Everybody, everybody right. on planet Earth would take Phil Rivers. You know what else I don't trust? I feel like some people would. Someone that wears a blank fucking hat 
that has no logo on it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. He wears a blank blue hat and Wait, walks around. Wait, you mean around. like Goffin? Just in general. Everywhere he goes, he wears a blank hat. Like the ones you get from you? the kiosk at the mall? Yes, like he got it at Lids. He like, walked in you and he goes, <laughs> why not? Exactly. They were like, oh, should we fucking uh, stitch, stitch something on this? He's like, like no. no. I, 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 I like, kind of like Why it. would I want to stitch this? It's just it's plain kind of black. Meanwhile, the, the guy's the employee's like, like, like usually people buy these so you can put something on it. He gets a blue Yupong hat made out of China. <laughs> with a fucking, I guarantee it has Velcro on the back. It's not even a snap. And he walks around with all his fucking money. You see him on the golf course. He's got fucking ear conditions in his golf cart. I don't know if you've ever seen that douchebag on the fucking oh, golf course. Oh, does he really? Yes. He's yeah, in 110 he go pro? with a fucking blank blue hat. He probably, he probably is going to go pro? Probably. Uh, he's he's a scratch golfer. He's, he's, he's right scratch. there. He's, he's a scratch he's golfer. Not he's really pro, good. Though. You know how hard it is to go pro? Everyone can be it's scratched and not. still not go pro. I don't even know what the fuck that means. It means you have no, it means you like basically like what? Don't have a handicap? Yeah, you're like a zero. It's like you break even. Yeah, it's. Uh, did you pick T.O. or No you? idea what a handicap is. I don't even know where we are right now. Uh, we're on T.O. Okay. Oh, we're on uh, T.O. I hated. Wait. Oh, shit. I was more worried playing against T.O. as a Patriots fan than I was playing against Antonio Brown. I like that take. Nico? Oh, T.O. Uh, T.O. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go. Go. Next. T.O. All right, hold on. Real quick, I just want to say <coughs> for both Devonta Adams and Terrell Owens, neither of them have put up. A season comparable to any of Antonio Brown's stretch of dominance. I appreciate just, you looking that up. Just fat. Just, I, I like the stat. I, I appreciate just throwing that it out there. My so question uh, is: so Can if, I also if, ask if what was Terrell Owens, Owens was in that offense? Does he score more? That's my thing. So I think that if you put, I'm uh, taking this as go, go if you put yes, deal. because I think that matters. If you put Terrell Owens with Ben Roethlisberger's prime, does he play better than having Jeff fucking Garcia throw to him? <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. saying. So that's how I'm Jeff taking Cassie it. Like now, Devontae Adams, right? Yeah. Maybe that's a better option because Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers is throwing right? the ball. So it's like, that's the And I mean, Devontae, just looking at it, he's never cracked 130 receptions. And Dude, uh, he's only what, cracked he 15. He's cracked 1,500 yards. Yeah. Yeah. I will he's say that. He's had an injury problem. problem. What a fucking catch. Have we got to Devontae yet? We just, just, did, we just yeah, did Devante. Yeah, I told you I'm fucking lost. You got me on Romo. I'm took, fucking done. You, 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 you took Devante. You took Devante. Adams. Okay, I'm I took the Devante. only one that took after. By the way, Justin, let's just if we're keeping the score track, I've got uh, a B. No, no, twice. I thought we. To, uh, he was the Alex, first. One. Larry Fitz. Larry Fitz. Devante Adams. Let's go. We don't have to bog down. Johnny Manziel over Reggie Bush. All right, next we got Steve Smith. Antonio Brown. It's not even a question. Yeah, that's not even a. question. So I think that's the easiest one. I think far. that might be the easiest Why one. Why is he even on the bl- – who made the graphic? <laughs> who made this list? <laughs> I am so mad that we're even doing this right now because he's on the fucking graphic. You I saw that and you were like, let's talk. Antonio, uh, Antonio Brown over Did Steve Smith. you see Smith? how quick that segment just was right there? That one Fuck Steve, Steve Smith. Okay, so there we go. Uh, Julio Jones. Antonio Brown, definitely. I think Julio Jones is one of the more overrated receivers in the Julio generation. Jones couldn't find the fucking end zone. If, he was born if it was it. the size of fucking Hampton Beach, okay? <laughs> has he, he has never cracked the end zone. I've had him in fantasy. He's a fucking bum. He's got a, I bet you his yards are fucking high. He catches a lot. He is allergic to the end zone. Okay? I agree. And he can't stay healthy. He's yeah. hurt. He's has hurt. He, if you draft Julio Jones, he is out a minimum five games Watch a this year. Watch this shit. Brady like 15 tutties. Yeah, it's insane. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It'll be all of a sudden it's just only in but the But I end also zone. think Julio Jones has been super boom or bust as far as production goes. Again, that's me looking at it from a fantasy perspective. Being like this guy is balling one why week. Don't we, why don't we use Al's week. point? Matt Al, who's uh, Matt Ryan? Really? Yeah, Matt, I know, Ryan, I know Matt, Matt Ryan, Ryan. Really? He's a quality Listen, quarterback, dude. Julio Jones. What the though, fuck does that mean? Though? That catch in the they, Super Bowl versus us? That was insane. Dude, come on, that we was lose. Dirty. Everyone's like, he's the gr- one of the greatest ever just for that catch. Yeah, no, absolutely. In Matt that Jones moment. In that great, moment. I, ah, man, damn, dude. No, it's Antonio, it's Antonio Brown. It's Antonio Brown. It's Antonio Brown. It's Antonio Brown. Oh, Antonio right, it's Brown. A, it's a, okay. It's yeah. Antonio Brown. Right, I, know, I know you fucking skew heavy. Right. You skew heavy Alabama. Uh, oh, let's see. I was just fact checking here. Julio okay. Jones uh, did have a dominating year. One year, 136 yep. receptions, 1,870. Is that like 2012? Uh, 15, okay. 2015. And that's the only Yo, season he that's played the third, healthy. Yep. That's, the yeah. third, that's the third season you've said, Justin, in 2015. How many touchdowns? I would love to go to the 2015. Six, yeah, 2015. Eight, eight, what eight, the eight, fucking yeah. receiving He's shot? He's never had 10. That's a touchdown like every other game. What? Eight well, how many? Eight, how many? Eight, 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 I know. It's not, it's like who else not was on the team? He can't score touchdowns. Who else was on the team? Roddy White. Oh no, Roddy White might have been gone. Fucking 2015. Was it 2015? So probably like Ridley, Ridley, so probably like Harry Douglas. Calvin Ridley wasn't there. Is this is this one D Hop? I can't tell. Yeah, that's is Deontay. That's D Hop. All right. This is a tough one. Yeah. I'm still going Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, my opinion. Mm. Listen, based off a of character, well, maybe not anymore, but I would have went D Hop over 
Really? So, well, we're not going to give steroids the character thing. Who gives a fuck? I say everyone juice. Yeah, juice I, them Who up. cares? That's I, why if you, if you, you if you give a shit about what someone puts into their body, you are a grade because A loser. sports are about the- You're a fucking grade no, A loser, not, man. Al. No, you grade are not. Grade A loser. No, you are not. I want my players to want to win, and I want them to do whatever that takes to do so. No. Okay? I, I, so I, would, my, I am not going to fault Hopkins to do that, okay? Okay, so my, and my addiction on that is- Sports are about what the human body can accompl- accomplish naturally. That's the that's so the yeah, so you be natural, hundred percent. Yep, 100%. absolutely. Vi- you uh, Viagra, Cialis, no, never. What do, you, what do you mean? You never would take that. A little blue chew, maybe. A little I'm blue not, chew. I'm not competing huh, you in get an a athletic extra sport hard, against kid? anybody. Doesn't matter. No. Point of being. No. Point being. <laughs> the point being is you can't. I would not knock people for the steroids. I'm I not going to knock that against. I them. do. No, I don't. Nico, I would still take Antonio Brown. Okay, there we go. One. Justin, what? <laughs> Who would you pick? D Hop or A B, man. Fuck, this one's tough because I've been fucking riding A B. You've been uh, riding them hard. You've been sucking Long and hard. Fucking dick, bro. Uh, dude. A-B, like Tiana A-B. Trump. If, if, if this is like, if, yeah, I don't, okay. Um, <laughs> if this was like a, if this was like a question, dude, A B. Okay. Next. There's like two more I guys. All right. Uh, I think the Andre Johnson. AB again. Andre AB. Johnson's a Hall of Famer. He's actually, I think, one Dude, of the more forgotten about. I mean, what the fuck, yeah. though? Hey, since we're talking Johnson's, Johnson's can we get Calvin. to Calvin is, fucking is Calvin Johnson? Let's talk Johnson. Megatron? Yes. yes I will tell I, you. Megatron. Megatron. I'll, I'll take Megatron day. all day. Wait, Don't I, care about the stats. Okay, Don't yeah, even want this. him. Andre Johnson would bang out any wide receiver in the NFL. If we were talking that. Andre or Calvin? Andre Johnson would bang out any wide receiver. Over Calvin. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying fighting-wise. Just like jokingly fighting-wise. Calvin Johnson over DK Metcalf. Are you out of your mind in a fight? I don't no. know. Wait, Def- what, I feel what? like DK. What? Andre DK Johnson versus uh, all DK muscle, Metcalf? popcorn muscle. In a I'm, fight. Taking, I'm taking Andre Johnson. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sum I'm gonna summarize it for the next two. The next two stone. are Calvin Johnson and Randy Moss, and I take both of them over Antonio Brown. Facts. I remember the video. Yeah, no, that's close. Yes. Is there anybody I mean, that debates that. But okay. why is Steve Smith even listed in front of these people? Steve Smith. Was, who, I would. I swear to God. Okay, so who would you have? Randy Moss, a thousand percent. Okay. Calvin Johnson, a thousand percent. Okay, all right. Awesome. Wait, was Let's that two thousand fifteen too? That Randy Moss season, two thousand seven. I'm oh, telling yeah, you, wow, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Early eight years. I got excited. I got it. He was in the fucking announcing booth in twenty fifteen. <laughs> no, uh, who would you put in if you wouldn't put in Steve Smith? Who's the one receiver that you'd put in there? That yeah. I think would be like somewhat of a discussion. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Marvin Harrison. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say, guess we what? We don't got no Colts players from and back then. That was a fucking high. T.Y. Hilton and his bride? No, T.Y. Hilton, not, not even close. With Peyton? I just, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I don't T. think. T.Y. Hilton never played T. with Peyton. I think he played with Marvin Andrew Harrison Luck. got probably 145. Andrew Luck. Marvin Luck. Harrison was like Ten the model touchdowns. of, he's like the model, he's, his consistency model is comparable to Larry Fitzgerald's. I, I, I'm definitely, and I think, think I can more. definitely think of a wide receiver that's fucking. And Al, between me and you, I think, I'm not going to lie, I think I might have to still take Antonio Brown because I think he's a more gifted, like, talented receiver than Marvin Harrison. Maybe. And they're still kind of the same size. Wow. What about him and Michael Irvin really quick? It's a Cowboys fan that you are. Michael Irvin. I think Michael Irvin's slower than we realize. You watch some of the tape going back. Oh, really? Real slow. <laughs> really? Real slow. Big body, but he seems really slow on tape. How big no is shit. he? For a guy six, flying on six, Michael, six, two. Six, two? I mean, you should be kind nah, of Nah, I, I would take three. Antonio Brown. My first AOL screen name, Irvin88JM. Was a big fan. Hilarious. Yeah. That's dead funny. Coke knows Michael it all. Irvin. Mine, mine was uh, super gay. Uh, wow, was, like, that makes sense. That <laughs> your was, screen name would be super gay. It was. It was. It was. It was well, I. I'll say it out loud because this is so cringy. It was Cobra Fang eighty five. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't get pyro. Okay, guy. you want to hear real, real cringy? We're talking like height of WWE. Okay. Mine was elbow cold. The Stone Cold. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Al. Swear to God, it was. No, it was, was not. That before elbow it was all to elbow dog to dog. Twenty two was his thing. Yeah, but it's elbow cold was the first one. And ask then anybody. Then he was sick with a ten. Yeah, that was big. Just two four four. Oh yeah, minute. that's a that's hilarious. I don't know who came up yeah, with these. So. I think I was black ass at eighty three. Something super lame. That was that so was like that weird. is real. That's yeah. worse than elbow that, cold. Yeah, yeah. My, and, and, elbow and, cold's hilarious. My favorite. Like, my favorite was black acid. She named her shower head Justin. That was a good one. Oh, that dude, that was go. so cringy. Was Mr. Mac Daddy side piping name screen name as well? Yeah, no, I think so. Mr. Mac, Mac Daddy no, side Mac, piping. I don't know. I was crazy. It was back bro, that's too many characters. It was no Mr. It was. It was Miss. It hey, Miss. Miss. Mad, Mad Daddy side pipe. Hey, Al. I, uh, I, I, before I, we get away, uh, all this, you know what I'm gonna say to you. 
You want to tell me how many p- wins the Patriots going to get this Why don't year? you enlighten oh, the people how many wins you Seven. think Judge, Jay, fine. Really quick, pull up the Patriots schedule for 2022. Here we okay. go. Okay. Again, let's just get this right. out of the way. The first, like, Yo, everyone we get back the first, home that's like, watching. My watch blood pressure is already fucking boiling right now. There you now. go. Watch, watch everybody start freaking the fuck out. Okay. All right. Can we we get open first, up. Like, uh, game by game. Go game by game. All right. We're going to open up at the uh, Loss. Miami. September 11th. Loss. Loss. Okay. Loss. Loss. All right. All right. Uh, think it's a loss? We're That's on the right. road next week again in Pittsburgh. W loss. Uh, who's their quarterback? W. Kenny Pickett. Win. Rookie. No, it's, no, it's not. Mike Thomas it's be said, if the, it said if the season. Still, yep. Doesn't yeah. matter. Still a win. Loss. They're one and one. Uh, then we, I we host the Ravens at home. Loss. loss. <laughs> who's going to beat us on the Ravens? Lamar Jackson's yeah. better than anybody Dude, on the serious? Patriots. Oh my and they got God. J.K. Dobbins. Oh yeah, my Dude, God. Yeah, J.K. Yeah. Dobbins. They actually oh. have people that are a threat, Alan. Oh, and you my still gosh. don't answer the oh. question who's the best player on the fucking Patriots? You say Matt Listen, Jones. Listen, just like always, the Patriots make it happen. What happened last year? They were 10 and 7. Would you agree to that? They were they 10 and 7 last year? Just answer that question. Were they 10 and 7? Yeah. So you're telling me they've regressed three games from year to year. That's what you're Definitely. saying right now. You, okay. Yeah. We were a fumble away. Damian Harris couldn't hold on to the fucking ball to open versus Miami. We're at 17-16, ready to kick a field goal. Couldn't hold on to the fucking ball. Yeah. We were burning clock, okay? We should have been 11-6 uh, and six there. The fucking stupid uh, Tampa Bay game, they shouldn't have kicked that 80-yard field goal that exactly. they tried. <laughs> they should have went for it. was fourth and fucking uh, cunt here. Fourth and a cunt here. And they didn't want to fucking run the ball to try to ease a little more clock off. But let's punt it to Tom Brady. He'll never come down and kick a field goal. That was a moronic thing. A lot of mental mistakes last year. And you think they're going to regress three games the when they basically told, gave two you to three told games me away? You don't give a shit about coaching, but like I said, coaching matters. No, no, no. No, that's not what I said. Hold you on. said, oh my God, they don't have anyone calling the plays. They're going to give it to me. <laughs> I, said you got two, I said you got two fucking different people doing fucking different things. Do you know, hey, did you see the practice today? They're fighting today, boys. Do you Don't know, worry. Do you Listen know. to me. That's another okay. thing that I want to talk okay. about. Right. Fucking do you I know. I know we're getting bogged down right now because right, we're on. trying to go through the schedule. But listen. Yeah. No, go through the schedule because I want to hear him. I know he's going to say <laughs> seven and ten because I just I'm just going to write down notes. All right. So I have the Pats right now at zero oh and three. I, have one, I don't no, think we one beat two for me. One okay. and two I don't think we beat me. Pittsburgh. This fucking All right. Well, we're on the, the road again the following week, and we hit uh, Green Bay. So with three out of four, we open up on the road. Lost. 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 So we're starting 0-4. Yep. One okay. and four, I have it, but you could say 0-4. One, well, we've only done four games. So, so one, one three. and three. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. One and three. Right. My bad. We then, uh, ho- uh, we then host the Lions. When? Yeah, I think we beat the Lions. Uh, you better hope that God. Al, win or loss? I'm going to give you my whole thing after this. Okay. Keep All going, right. Jay. Fun. Uh, then we are back in the road in Cleveland. When? When? I say when. Cleveland. Uh, well, I don't know. You're giving them too much credit, guys. They're going to win versus Cleveland. Okay. That's a tough one. Cleveland you sucks, you're win versus Cleveland? I, Of course. All of right. course. It was sarcasm. Keep going. So uh, I'm, I have them at two and yeah. six. No, two and fucking four, whatever it is. All right. Uh, we then host Chicago. Win, 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 yeah, win. I think uh, Chicago on the road against the Jets. I bet somebody loss. shaved my head. I think that's a loss. Chicago. I think the Jets beat us. I you think the Jets on, are better than us. Road, you said on the road, what right? Are yeah, you on the even road. talking yeah. about. I think they're gonna so Jets are gonna take bad. one game in the in the two games. Yeah. Yeah. Al, Al, everybody okay. got better besides the Patriots. You need to accept yeah. this fact. Okay, stop. We didn't get better, right? We didn't get better. Fine, that's not fine. Fine. So if we didn't get better, we stayed the same. You're saying? I think we got a little we bit worse. worse. So we got worse. So because we lost JC Jackson. Is that the is that I would the, agree with that, okay. yes. So last Everybody's year older, yeah. last year, will everyone agree that the whole narrative around the team, especially after the Buffalo first loss and then the playoff loss, that they said the one thing that everyone said, they need more speed. They're getting too old. Can, it, can we agree to that? They're getting too old. They need more speed. So what do they do in the fucking draft? They address straight speed. Now, you could say they reached for some of the guys. They got the fastest wide receiver, two of the fastest cornerbacks, and another backup running back that's the fastest running okay, back in the draft. but you have no, Al. You do not know how but that is going to translate in their rookie I, season. I agree a thousand life. percent. But everything that you guys were worried about last year was getting more speed, so they got more speed. No. Last year, guys, we're looking at the sixth-ranked offense by points, 27.2. I bet you, Jay Fine, if I asked you, would you have said probably 15 to 20? If what, I took the, points the, per game last year, it's just yeah, skewed. It's yeah, just six. That that it's doing. not skewed. Now yes, listen, is, listen. Not, hold on, I got okay. stats up the ass. They're all written down here. Okay. What's this? Defensive Score. ranking by points. What do you think we ranked? Top five. 
Top five. What I do think you it was think number one, him? right? It's number two. Number, number two. two. Okay. So you. six ranked offense, second ranked. Defense. No, no, no. That's six, six ranked points per okay. game. Do how, offensive how many, rating. How many? How many? Offensive rating is how many? To like nine. How many touchdowns do you think the defense got last year? I'd say five, six. Five or six? Seven or eight. I think they got a lot. Well, they got, they got a more. whopping total of three. Um, that would put them at the 20th ranked defense in terms of um, uh, touchdowns. So you already have a bad narrative there, okay? Um, 26th ranked in pass attempts. So they didn't throw the ball a lot last year. I think no, Matt Jones, can, I tell, you, can I tell you a he's fun fact? Efficiently he's ranked a game man, by yards per game, 14th ranked. So he's, out, throwing, he's he, throwing RB flats for three yards. He, out, he was out efficiently. So he made more yards. He threw 26th in the league, bottom of the barrel, and still ranked 14th. That's 12 spots above. Yeah, they made, bumped hey, it. Andy do made the you Pro know? Bowl after eight people said they were sick and couldn't no fucking make it. Between, between wide receiver and tight end, we have the most expensive core in the NFL. Yes, Which I is crazy. Which, 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 amounts, to 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 person, you which amounts to absolutely fucking Hunter Henry. And who else? John o. Smith is the most John o. Smith. One, I'm pretty sure. I, think, I think if people stay healthy, you got Devontae Parker in there, you got Kendrick Bourne. These people are serviceable people. Al, we got, Kendrick Bourne is serviceable. Jacoby Myers agree. is probably a top seven, top five to seven slot receiver in the league. Uh, slot! Uh, slot just, receiver! Crazy, Al. Yeah. <laughs> fucking nuts, dude. I don't, know, I don't know that I would so agree with fucking, that, Al. So fucking crazy. Devontae Parker's also made of porcelain. Play like, uh, I mean, he misses six games a Marco, year. Marco, straight up, like I told Al, when game, did, people go into the fucking war room, go, we're playing the Patriots this week. What do we have the game plan for? You know what they say to each other? Yeah, they, you know what they ah, say to each other? Fucking nothing. We got to stop the fucking run. We ranked fifth in the league in the run. We can't stop the run. They got a two-headed fucking monster. We're going to smash it down your fucking throat. And then we're going to come on defense. We're going to come on defense. Little bend, don't break. And then we're going to force a turnover like we always fucking do. You sound and like we're come down hoping for a prayer. And Mac Jones ain't going to make mistakes. He's fucking you, you true. Hope. 70%. It's not a fucking prayer. Guess what? The proof's in the fucking pudding, Nico. 10-7 and seven last one. year. We're Rookie fucking back, quarterback. Yes. How did no. Justin Fields do last year? No. How did the five people take him before Mac Jones? I asked. You can't compare to the fucking Bears. You're making it seem like 7 to 10. They were that we're the fucking Bears. What are you talking about? I'm telling you that there's not going to be no production on that fucking team. Zach Wilson. Zach fucking Wilson's going to do something. He's going to beat us. The kid fucking just blew his fucking knee out. Who's their backup? Who's their fucking backup? Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. We're going to worry about fucking two attack Livola? (laughs) Fuck him. That's who we're going to fucking worry about? More, way Who's, more athletic than Mac Jones. With their fucking coach that looks like he's seven years old? <laughs> <laughs> Did they get Who's the kid it? from the kid with the glasses? Yeah, Mike McDaniel. Yes, Mike okay, McDaniel. okay. kid from fucking, how do you call it? The kid That's the, who we're the fucking player. worried about? Dude. <laughs> Al, yeah. They have better teams. Yes. We got Dodd fucking teams. Vader, Bill Belichick, coming for that ass, okay? Al, we have can't no, play Al, in Miami. Al, Al, I'll give you the no, one loss. No, we can't play in Miami. Al, I'll give you that loss. No Maybe I'll give you the Green Bay loss. Right now, I got you like five. Dude, we have or nothing six threatening to. We have a we have a don't. tandem don't, offensive listen, coordinator. Listen, yeah, listen, don't. we don't need a threat. Game plan against this one of us. One game plan it. against one of the wide receivers. Game plan against something. We're gonna. We There's have nothing a lot to of game different plan weapons. for Al. Listen, Me and you could drop a game plan you, using fucking Madden. How did they get worse? How'd they get worse? Okay, How'd they're they still worse? fucking old. They lost the defense. best quarterback. A fucking whole linebacking core is all like fucking depicted. Like there's no one there that with ex- like real, real raw experience. Okay, crap. On the, the outs- way. whatever, Marco. Sorry. Shut up. Fucking um, yeah, lost train of thought. Okay, so we have the strongest safety core. That's our strength of fucking. Like, where does like being the strongest safety core really bring a defense home? Where? Where I we're, we're, we're also shuffled around on the fucking front seven too, dude. But we got Christian Barmore. We got some people there on the offensive side. Of the Al, it's a passing league. It's high. You, look at the teams that made it to the Super Bowl. Al, it's not, not, not nineteen ninety six. No, anymore, we had buddy. a worse. We had a worst offense last year. Would everyone agree to that? Yes, we went yeah, back. We, we're, okay. we're, we're less explosive. So, so we had, we're more conservative. We're just run the ball. And so, then so we had a worse offense they last fumble. year. We still ran. Ramondi fumbles, fumbles and Damian Harris worse, fumbles. No like James six, White either. His hips up to fucking lunch. Six foot points last year with the retired. same retired. exact offense. 
We added weapons. We added speed. I'm telling you, they, they bra- clearly, they brainwashed you. This is, no, they brainwashed no, 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 no. I swear to you God. You want to suck Josh Allen's dick. I don't want to suck You want to swallow the load. I love no, Josh I, Allen. I, I, everyone I loves okay. Josh Allen. No love one's him. saying Mac Jones is Best Josh Allen. Best quarterback in the league. I'm not Hands down. I'm in legs put together. Josh Allen. Best quarterback. I'm not, saying, I'm Justin, not even saying they're winning the Josh division. Allen or Justin, Justin, all I said, okay, fine. They, they gave all I the said to Nico, comparing Mac Jones to Josh Allen. Never. What are we doing? If we had Josh Allen, we'd probably just never lose. All I said to Nico, what are, what are we, what are we, what are we all I said to Nico was they're going to win more than seven games. We, Vegas we, has them at eight and a half. Right, keep, so even please, Vegas fucking agrees with me and says you're a moron. Yeah. What's the next? Fuck you and Vegas. Go ahead. All right, continue, please, so I can just like paint this picture for him one more time because he just doesn't understand. We then host the Colts to open up November. We're gonna. Lose. When, I think when, no, now they got no Matt one comes Ryan. into Foxborough. No one comes into Foxborough. You know oh, why no one can do that? Ryan has done had, so good versus us over the number years. Number 12. I'm we scared had, of Matty Ice. We had number 12. Next game. That's why no one can come into fucking Foxborough. We don't well, have him That anymore. could be a good stretch for us because in, in, in a four-game stretch, we go Bears, Jets, Colts, and then back to the Jets. So Jets again. Oh. Yeah, I'll I think we win that second game. Is it home? Is it home or away? That second game. Yeah, we win that one. I'll give them a win at the home game. We're gonna win both. We all we're gonna beat the Jets both times. Okay. Uh, We then have uh, oh, they got Brees Hall. Thanksgiving, right? We uh, have Vikings, right? In Minnesota for that's a that's a toss up. Hell, no one on that. How many teams? Let's look it up. How many fucking players on this oh roster have played God. on Thanksgiving? It, yeah, but Dalvin, no, it's not the Dalvin, Dalvin Cook will be hurt by the time that game Dalvin comes Cook around. Will be dead by the time Kirk that game Cousins. Comes around. Oh hold on, because this, because hold on, fucking because the Kirk fastest Cousins. fucking wide receiver in the draft is going to cover Jay Jefferson. Yeah, I know. He'll fuck be out the it, fucking just like lunch. they do all yeah. the time, how they used prick. to shut down Tyree Kill. They'll shut down they're the gonna, one weapon. They're going to put one guy on him, one guy over the top. Let's go. Beat us some other way. Beat us some other way. And you better pray to God that fucking Dalvin Cook. You guys, you guys are going to suck be every other and, stick. And like I'm telling you, Al, you better hope the Patriots roster like stays what it is, if anything. Like if anyone gets hurt there oh, catastrophically. So, okay, let's have, have a fun. wide receiver drop. They have fucking 30 wide receivers. That can They're all right. piss poor and they would be the we'll third the next, and fourth string on any other game? team. Uh, we host the Bills to open up the L. Loss. Loss. L. We host next, the Bills host at home. I think I'm going to take that as a win. Next, right. uh, we speed. visit Arizona. Too much speed. When? What when? Is it? What, what, is it? what week is that? J five. I think that's twelve. Like, yeah. Kyler Murray's good for three weeks out of the year. I'm gonna go with the. Usually I'm gonna go with the win. Three. I think Arizona. I'm gonna copy my. T- I'm gonna yeah, copy the t- 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 That's, that's no, like so week no like thirteen. Now. Week 13 or 14. I, yeah, I, think, I, Arizona, said I think Arizona has Oh, no. Arizona. I said we lose to Arizona. That fucking gonna, midget will never last. Yeah, 13. I think we beat it's Arizona. It's so fucking crazy. Top 10 quarterback in the league. Uh, Sucks. We can Sucks. continue the West Coast yeah, trip on Sucks. the road. You got a game manager. Vegas. We Raiders? lose to Vegas. I said Vegas. we win yeah. that game. Lose. No. I said we win first hockey. game versus McDaniels, they lose. Losing. Absolutely. That's not the first time he's played them. What do you I, mean? You, did you call this a win on your TikTok? I called it a win. I said that. I said that if, if there's gonna be one fucking catastrophic win that they have, it's Vegas right. It's that. right here. They're gonna go to Vegas. I'm pretty sure that's a prime time game. If you want to look it up, I bet you the Patriots fucking win in Vegas. They no. have too many weapons. Too now. many. Yeah, it's gonna that be is, a that huge, is a prime time it's game. Be yeah, a huge uh, Patriots crowd too. There. That's a basic. Yeah, yeah it game. is. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A win. Win all day. No, I think it's that's a loss. Win all day. Yeah, that's that's I think Monday Night Football. It's yeah. Monday Night Football in L. In L. Oh my God, in Las Vegas, dude. Uh, I think the Patriots win that game. I, I think know. so too. I think they that's come. You think? Bell- but guess what? I it is. If, they, if, if they, you told me they would lose, the, if you told me they were going to lose that, it'd be fine. But you tell me that they're going to lose to the Jets. Like so I at least you, one I respect them. you more. Is this the first McDaniel's? Is this the first McDaniel's Belichick? I think they did once once in Denver. Once in Denver. You got to know. Yeah, no, but I mean like good. This year. Buffalo's yeah. really good. The, he's losing. They're a really they good lose. fucking football team. I'm through not saying they're not. Through and through. I know. I just have to get the seven wins. And yeah, I you win. do. And a hope and a fucking prayer. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Now what's after Vegas? Because right. I know we close yeah. it. I know we close out with the Bengals and the Bills. And, and, and if anyone thinks we're being Cincinnati, you're fucking nuts. So that's next. Uh, th- uh, oh, that's Christmas next. Eve, we host the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. That's a, uh, that's, that's a loss. loss. So now, we will all now. be going nuts on that game because we'll be watching it at Al's house in the I, fucking living room. I refuse. Gonna Wait, that game's on Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve. One house is going to be a fucking banana. Yeah, I'm cheering against good. you the whole fucking night. I'm going to uh, torment Nico, you. Nico, by my count, you already lost your bet and you would already have to give me dough. So, so hey, by, by your count. It's going to be, it's gonna <laughs> be free money, count. so I don't even care if they lose that game. They will win that game, though. 100%. Al, you're going real homer with this man. I'm not going homer. That's what I'm saying, I'm not dude, going homer. It's crazy. Al, Al, you're not, I'm, not Al, you're, Al, you're I'm glad. Very, I got them 11 very, and 6. That's what I have that's them. That's crazy. fucking nuts. 11 you said and the, 6. What'd you I say think the they other got night? slightly better than last what year. What did you say the other night, though? What could, what's, their, what's their ceiling? What'd you say their max win total could be? 13. 
That's now, so. Imagine that. J five. Max. I'm saying Max. There's 17 fucking games uh, in the season. This we guy finish it up. We host the Dolphins. Then host the Dolphins. Be the number one seed in the fucking AFC. Hold on, wait, we, hold, wait, we host the Dolphins Max. second to last week of the season. You said Max. I never said that was oh going to happen. We host, the Dolphins, hold on, we host the Dolphins second to last week of the season. New Year's Day. Yeah. New, New Year's Day. Day. I'm gonna win that too. I got a W. I'll give him a W. I'll give him a win. I'll give him a win. At home, and then we visit the Bills to end the season. Yeah, I think it's a loss. A I think we lose that last game. Rest our starters for the playoffs. Maybe maybe win it because of that. The, the Bills are going to fucking send everybody home. They're going to fucking soak each other You're in right. mustard. We're yeah. going to fight it, everybody it could, from yeah. Bills mustard and mustard and it ketchup. Could be, it, could be second, it could be second. It could be second. are going to all have fucking PR career days because we're facing the fucking Bills fans. So, ne- team so, sucks so next, our next question is fantasy football coming in right. Who is a player Whoa, that you... Hold on. What? Question. Yeah. What do you have him at? What do I have him at? Yeah, record wise. I, I have him at seven wins. So seven and ten, same as me. Yeah. I predicted seven, seven and ten. I Check think it they went the nine. I'll okay. give them nine. I, I can deal with that. Not, you that's, guys- that's a win for me. But listen, hold on, because that means they're over 500. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fine. I think they're going to do a lot better than that. But listen, I've never been felt better about my opinion. Than when I'm on the opposite side of you too, so I feel very good right that's now. That's fine. I mean, that's fine. What do you want me to tell you? Fantasy that football is what we're going in. We're, this is, so we are a massive fantasy football f- family where all of us are in like three or four leagues each. Half where, of those are with each other. Yeah. Um. So this is a fantasy football. Who will you never draft again? Jay Fine, you could start this. Why not? Uh, who will, I, I, who will I, you never draft again? I want to just say one thing, Jay Fine, before you start. Yes. For the first time ever, me and Mako are partners in a league. And I just want to say, I have no idea how the fuck our draft's going to go because we're probably going to argue on every single draft pick. Oh, but I have faith that our team will do good. But I think I'm honestly going to lose I get three it, years I get of it, my life I get drafting it, I get, with get, fucking my brother. Well, can I hold on? Can I ask you a question? How many how many teams did you have last year? <laughs> three. How many made the playoffs? Um, Two, and I won uh, one. I won don't a say that you made so, Listen, no wait, one cares how you wait, finish. No wait, one cares. I won, wait, though. Did I won you win league. one league? Yes. And you, you won. They got to the playoffs in four out of five or something like that? I did. We like get that. to the playoffs in Actually, four out of five. Uh, I mean, it's like, yeah, I did. And then the no only, one and then the gives only... a fuck how you did it in fantasy. That's no. false. It I doesn't care. make you a good fantasy Unless we have what do you mean? has to do with a lot of it for injuries, but whatever. He was in four or five. All of a sudden, he's Matthew fucking Barry. No, I'm not. I didn't say that. I just said, no, Matthew Barry left ESPN. But anyways, let's get back All right, so who would you Fine, who would you never, who are you never drafting again? Uh, so I, I've been burned by this player in uh, both Dynasty and Redraft, and that's Antonio Gibson. Yeah, bump. especially oh uh, he started. Out, he started. He started out the season. You know, they they Such gave him, they pick. gave him first team reps. He came out. He fumbled it right out the gate. Yep. They just drafted Brian Robinson, re-signed McKissick. I don't think he's got any value. I think he's a bum. Uh, you think so? Yeah, no yeah. shit. Huh? You think that they're gonna? You think they're just like extending him? Like. You really think he's? I, I think I think that he's. That kid Brian Robinson, Alabama guy. Alabama I got a notification earlier he's that he's dog, running bro. with the uh, he's running with the special teams. Antonio Gibson's yeah. running. And that his, might be a wake up call. His though. hands are so been, good though. No, he's they a don't versatile, utilize he's a, he's him. He's a versatile correctly. back. That team sucks, dude. It's hard to get going on that team. Yeah, you're gonna die on that team. Even their best, even their best, even their name is fucking. I don't even want to fucking. I have Terry McLaurin in a dynasty fucking league. I don't even want him. Yeah, you should get rid of him too. He's another one. I, I, why you don't like Terry McLaurin at all? I like. I, I like think he's very. I think he's very. I think he's, for the fucking quarterbacks that guy has, he's think, made some ridiculous. I like him right catches. now. I think, I think he he's, he's very boomer bust. It seems to me. Of like. course, I mean, he's there's, on a boomer there's bust nothing team. scary about Terry. McCormick. No, I, I don't. Just think. watching him play. Yeah. Just watching him yeah. play. Yeah. Terry McLaurin was on my, the fucking Patriots. You'd be fucking throat deep. Yeah, I would. Hundred percent. I never draft again. Might be controversial here. Okay, it's still Joe Mixon. I'm not buying the. I'm not drinking the Kool Aid. I know we had a great a year last year. I like Joe Mixon. He was a bum he's for three or four scumbag. years before I'm that. Sorry, but hurt. did you just use him against me to say that the Patriots were going to win versus the Bengals, and now you're saying he's a bum? They can beat you in other ways besides Joe Mixon out. Like, okay, like, like three other like, like pro so bowl quality players. Back to Joe Mixon the Patriots. That's fine. Okay. Wait, take him back to what? You're taking back the Joe Mixon point on the Patriots. What Joe Mixon point? I never made a point to you. You said they couldn't stop Joe Mixon in the other wide receivers. I never said that. You just made that up. Like you literally just did. Made I hear that. that? Probably yeah, did. you did. You you, you heard that from in your own brain because I okay. never said but that. But Al, if you want to add that to your fucking rap sheet, add that in there. Joe Mixon is fucking up. a Swift's army knife. He's a scumbag of a human, but a hell of a football player. I I just I just think he's gonna go back to fucking pissing people off again. To be honest with you, with the injuries, with the inconsistent play. Bengals are in for a huge regression of a everyone. Year. I, I don't. Everyone. Everyone's saying that because what the losing team, the Super Bowl type. No, deal? just in oh, general. I think they over. I think they overachieved well, think last they, year. They were yeah. only ten and seven. It's because everybody fucking got crazy because they beat the Chiefs. And okay, they lost. Ten and, seven. and they were losing that game. 
All right, can I give you my yeah, this is going to blow up the page. Because this is interesting to me because we share a team. So, And I don't know how he is the number one overall pick right now. Oh, I know who this is. Uh, Christian McCaffrey? Yeah, no thanks. Hey, Are no you thanks. out of your mind? No, not, not Like this again is a point that I want to make as we go further down the fucking football fucking tunnel. Dude, he was slight. They were saying no one on the fucking Patriots, even though it's fucking preseason. I know. It's just he's on like a whole different level, but I ain't buying it, Justin. I'm with you. Well, you know, he's why, entirely a reason fo- why is he averages like 26 points. They said that last year game. in the games he he's played. The fucking in the games he played, so it's just like if you can just deal with the injuries, you can't miss six games but in here's fantasy. The problem. Oh, you can't, now, here's you the can't, problem. You can't. You here's can't the, take kid, it first overall. Miss six fantasy games. Yeah, you can't but here's do that. the thing: is the kid get they the, first off? Say, say they refuse. What? What was I going to say? Four to six games. That's like a lifetime in fantasy. No, no, no. I was going to say you can't. Have this kid keep coming back from injury and then give him the ball fucking 35 games, times no, a game absolutely not. every week. And well, then, then that's such you know, bad he breaks his fucking kneecap again. And the same thing happens. They're just beating the shit out how of him. How do you not they take Jonathan Taylor, number one overall? Oh, I don't I don't understand how you unless you're just predicting an injury. That'd be my only yeah, but thing. That's I, think, I think you're gonna I mean he's gonna you know, have to come down. You guys serious? Jay Taylor? I could yeah. still answer I could still count you guys with Derrick Henry. Trends, though. Yeah, no. Now but I think let me ask I you guys still count to them with Derrick Henry. I, I think McCaffrey falls overall. to the second round. I think McCaffrey gets injured. No, like somebody like somebody gets Dimitri. No, Dimitro's not gonna take him again. No. So who'd you say? Christian McCaffrey? Who's yours out? I I'll tell you mine. I you know what actually? Just like spice run rum, I'm fucking done. With Tyreek Hill, I Boom respect that play. I respect that him. pick. I, respect, I don't now. care what he says. I about respect his quarterback. It. Okay. That fucking bum Tua. Okay, yeah, he's a bum. He's not a. Okay. He's a he's fucking a bum. bum. Get off bum. fucking he's Alabama's dick for one second, okay? Okay, my uh, my, my guy. He, got, guy. he was a, he was my basically a Heisman winner and got fucking benched for a reason in the middle of a championship. He also had the same fucking procedure done that Bo Jackson had done on his fucking hip. Give the guy a fucking break. Oh all right, God. it takes right. fucking more than a year to get your gluteus maximus I don't and your fucking how, hip back. How hard they say he says he can throw? How accurate? No, nah, dude, the guy throws like a fucking whip sometimes. I agree, but he's got fucking Jalen Waddle and Tyree Hill. Tell him to get out of my face. With his Samoan dances and the fucking lays that he wears around his necks, I just can't fucking deal with it. Listen, honestly, that that team would have been better off with Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's who they should have kept. You're on just that team. fucking talking miss, shit. Ryan miss, Fitzpatrick, miss. Chuck it. Imagine just him chucking shit. a Tyree kill. Imagine that. Just, wait, Al, that's Al, why Al, Terry was fucking Al, good. Al, when Ryan, but then yeah, when Ryan Fitzpatrick. Wait a, minute, came, wait a minute. Imagine if they drafted Herbert. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. If they might go to him. <laughs> Joke. Idiot. Just Tyreek Hill. That just really would have been my the second coming of Dan Marino. Imagine yeah, him no, in the absolutely. Dolphins uniform. He throws the around. best ball. Okay. All right. So. Oh, I, I, just, I just, you said something really ridiculous there. Right. What? You tried to, you tried to slip it in while he's. <laughs> you just said Justin <laughs> Herbert. Is your dark horse to become MVP? I don't think he's a dark horse. <laughs> he's like That's, a, a dark horse is no, someone that no not. one expects. A dark Jay horse Fine. would be like Mac Jay Jones Fine, to win please, the MVP. Please, yes. fuck you guys. What's he? I bet he's like top five ranked yeah. he's quarterback. Plus two thousand. That's a fucking loss. He's plus two thousand. Plus a thousand or two thousand. It's like a thousand or two thousand. And, and Wait, guess Jay what? Fine. It matters who's above him. Is he in the top five for ranks? For the MVP. Like he has, like, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, go ahead, wait, do you no. think Mahomes is above him? Yes, yeah. go. Mahomes I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, no, maybe not, he, but there's well, receiver maybe, maybe now. Fuck name. off, Name's all sake. of you. Name's and Rodgers has to be because he's the defending MVP, Who's correct? And Tom Brady. He's not winning three in a row. I said he's top five. Guys. Top five is not a dark horse. What do you got? Jay Fine, what do you have? Herbert is number five exactly. Yep. He's currently uh, he's currently plus nine hundred. He's in between uh You say he's plus nine hundred? Plus nine hundred. He's in between Aaron Rodgers at plus eight fifty and right ahead of Joe Burrow at plus twelve hundred. Wow. That horse is as white as they come, my friend. Wait, what is his name? Wait, his nickname is White Lightning. Can you read the odds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick, going down the so list. The favorite, it's, uh, is who? favorite is Josh Allen at plus 650. Then Patrick Mahomes at plus 750. Uh, Tom Brady at plus 800. I think what that's I, a bait. Uh, I said that's that. That's definitely a bait. Aaron Rodgers okay, plus 850. Fine, Herbert fine, plus win. 900. Burrow plus 1200. I just feel like people would uh, it. Rounding it out, it goes Dak Prescott at plus 1300. Russell Wilson and Matthew, Matthew Stafford both at plus 1400. Uh, Stafford's Kyla- down there, man. Yeah. I, I think, honestly, let Russ cook. I like that. I, would, I think I would, that's I the think dark horse. Like I think I Russ is. That uh, I, I think agree Russ with is that. the dark horse. Is Interesting to note: the first non-quarterback 
in the uh, in the mix is Derrick Henry. Yeah. Wow. Well, he's the whole team. That's why. Well, yeah, right? he's the fucking team. Yeah, well, I'll never give it to him. Derek, we, we have Derrick Henry I'm ahead of. Shit about Derek Derrick Henry's Tom actually Tom ahead of no, Trevor yeah, Lawrence, okay, fine, which I think fine, is. Hold on. Derek Henry is ahead of Trevor Lawrence. I just. No, I'm just. Derrick Henry ahead of Trevor Lawrence. Derrick Henry's ahead of Trevor Lawrence. It's just hysterical. But he's also ahead of Taylor. Oh, and Kirk Cousins, Mac Jones, Tua, and Trubisky, Matt Ryan. Oh, they got him ahead of a bunch of starting quarterbacks, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I Who's the closest? Re- is there? Is the receiver the, the even number like one receiver? Chase. Cooper Cup. Oh right, 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 yeah. right, right. It is nah, still I mean, Cooper dude, Cup. Yeah, he's gonna regret. So Nico, thing. who is your, Nico? Who is your? Uh, you know he's twenty nine. All right. So this is a guy. Yeah. I got. I got two guys, and you guys know. Well, you guys know at least one of my guys. But I got two guys. They played on the same fucking team, and they're both fucking me now. So. The one, the top one that fucked me the most is Saquon Barkley. Oh, yeah. Fuck so yeah, Saquon you know, Barkley, no his well. career is yep. done. Uh, and I've drafted him every year. My boy Ty's watching this shit. Fucking, he, uh, he wanted Wait, to take Joe n- Mixon. He wanted to take Joe Mixon last year. I said, no, we're taking Saquon. He's having a bounce back. And obviously, I ate that like a bag of dicks. And Joe Mixon, obviously, I think was like top three in fantasy scoring for Joe, for, for uh, fantasy players, like running back wise. And then Odell Beckham, bro. Odell Beckham. I take Odell Beckham over everybody every fucking year because yeah. I think he's fucking repeating. He's That's coming back because I know the playoffs. Yeah, 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 okay, go fuck that yourself. Makes sense. I'm gonna t- so I'm gonna give you another. Ne- I'm gonna give you another never draft in my opinion. Not that I've ever actually drafted <laughs> this guy, but I don't plan to start now. I I'm I still take him all every year, dude. I take him every year. I'm still all the way out on Dak Prescott. By the way, as much you as should, I like you him, shouldn't be. He's good. As much no, as I like him, him. If he's, he's a gamer. As he's a gamer. I I don't know. He's never gonna win a title. But him and Russell Wilson never gonna win a title. I, have a, I like Russell Wilson a little yeah, bit better than Jack Prescott. I have a should you draft question. Sure. Who do you feel? How do you feel about uh, Juju this year? No. With Mahomes? No. No. I'm out on Juju. Yeah, but you know what? He's actually but another you, great no draft pick. In yeah, my but you know what? Know, that's though? what I said. He, he's someone's going someone's to have to take the where chance. Is he, where is he ranked? I need a ranking on Juju Smith's shoes. For, I, I, for I'm MVP? Gonna, no, no. no, 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 no like, just in average draft position is ADP. I'm going to say it's somewhere in the 50s. Swear to God. So that puts him so at what? where? So that, wait, Nico, Nico, wait. So that puts him at where? A fifth or sixth round pick? Fifth or sixth round? I like that he came out. I think very he might be a sleeper. His ADP is about seventy-seven. Oh, wow. Fuck! Oh shit! I just watched really? the show last night. It seventh round? It. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, sleeper. you came out wicked hot on Juju Schuster right there. I, I would love for Jay Fine to clip that for me and send it to me, just in case he has a fucking monster year, because I could see that happening. Sleeper. I, I don't know, man. I, who is better Some, for him than Ben Roethlisberger? Guys, I mean, I know Mahomes is guys, great. We don't get me if, wrong. If we, to, if we were to talk about that division, he's that division the number is, one wide receiver in Kansas City. No, he's not. He's Who's Marcus, number one? Marcus Travis Valdez, Kelsey. And then Valdez Scantling. Wide receiver, not tight end. Okay, yeah, but, but the wide receiver still eat in that system, though. They still can I be honest with still, you? Still, someone's going to have to take a shot on one of those kids because, listen, as much as people want to knock Mahomes, and listen, I've knocked him too because when he faced off against Brady, he did shit. Anyhow, Mahomes, bro, he's talented and he can make things happen. He throws for over 4,000 a year. If someone's going to have to let Where are those guys going? going? I Just like someone's going to be fucking Russell Wilson's favorite Tiger. He's going to become hot for somebody. Pat Mahomes, now Tiger. Jerry kills Judy gone. has a monster year. Bro, yeah, Tim, Patrick fresh just, take. Tim, Tim, Tim Patrick just blew his knee out. He blew his knee out. Fresh take. Jerry Judy yeah, has got, a monster bro. year. Yeah, but they also got KJ Hamler from Penn State, who's nasty but in the slot. But he's not better than Sutton or Jerry Judy. No, no, Judy. no. He's the third guy. Yeah. He's the new third guy now that Tim Patrick's down. And they were just talking about him, dude. Another kid. This, uh, I've never drafted this guy, but always fucks me. Melvin Gordon. Nice. Me and fucks Justin me. had him two years ago. I'll never draft him again. Never in a million Melvin years. Gordon. Never in a million years. He, Melvin it, G. No he, thanks. I'm good. Yeah, I hope I'm he good doesn't even play this year. I'm good on Melvin Gordon. Um, who's another no draft or a must draft for you? Like who are you high on now? I like Herbert a lot. Yeah, he's That's a, why I don't think he's a dark horse. I think I'll go back to that. But um, must draft non quarterback. I fucking yeah, love yeah. Kamara still. People, I don't know, I know why. Yeah, I love right Kamara. He's the one like J Five pulled just, a big dynasty league. Trip I just tra- I j- I just unloaded Antonio Gibson on someone a week ago for Kamara Ooh, with some other pieces. That's a, that's a shot. That, that is person a dumb as cool. fucking rocks. <laughs> I'd like to know the I'd like to know the details of that trade because that Tell person's the trade. an idiot. What was the trade? I traded uh, and I got so I have Jonathan Taylor and I got Kamara and Hines. I got Naheem Hines as Taylor's yep. handcuff in the trade and okay. I gave away Antonio Gibson. DJ Chark, Dallas Goddard in the uh, what? the last round draft pick. Who oh were you doing that trade with? God. 
<laughs> that's make, a borderline. Yeah, like, short I make bus the fair, Hey, I, I wouldn't have gotten away with it long. like today. I mean, really, a week I mean, ago, a, before all that bad news broke on Antonio, like it was. But that's I'm why you're the that hose. you are. Your foresight is right there. You know what I'm saying? Need it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I made a trade last year with Marco and fucking Justin. It was like legit split down the middle. It was I trade. think it was a good trade for both of us. Brandon you know, Jacobs for Nick Chubb. And then no, I tra- no, no, no. It was Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Yeah, Brandon Jacobs, Jacobs is like, split. what is this? 2008? Yeah. Yeah. Right. retired in 2008. But yeah. sorry. No, I got you. Josh Jacobs and uh, what do we got? We got um, a wide receiver. Terry McLaurin? No. no. We traded you Terry we McLaurin and Nick Terry Chubb. And Chubb. We got Josh Jacobs and fucking, what's his? Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs. No one cares about your fantasy team, though. Okay. Yeah, that's true. No one cares about any of us. We them. lost anyways. I, I won. I care a lot in my league. What, um, is there any other fantasy point that you guys want to make? Because we're just all, we're getting ready for fantasy. Um, kill kickers. Get them, get rid of them out of the league. I voted that. I, I brought that up in my league. So I was shut is. down. I wish yeah, they shut down. Really. Really. Can, right. right. can I be honest right. with you? I, can I be honest with you? I didn't miss him in your league. No, fucking kickers is really. stupid. They're really like, really oh, we get him. something on every There's single no play. There's no skill. It's an element of lock. Exactly. It's bullshit. So Unless yeah. you're Justin Tucker. And he's or a fucking Evan savage. McPherson, who yeah. hit a 58 and a 56. Yeah, Justin right, Tucker is not human. No. That guy's a fucking... His legs made of fucking red. All right, we're going to Mark Tank. Oh, God. We're going to Mark Tank. The guys are going to pitch me. Each pitch me a thing. And I'm going to see who, which one I would theoretically invest in. Uh, Nico, you going first. He had to put you on the spot. Yeah, he put you that. right on the fucking. Yeah, well, I want to go no last. And imagine. Because I want to go last. Yeah, I honestly did want to go last because I, I really can't think of a, probably not the biggest business model guy for you. You know what? I'm going to go first. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop on the grenade. You know? Here we go. I'm going to go first. You know, hop on the grenade. I actually wrote something. Interesting. Okay. I feel like if we're going to make this legit, we're going to make this legit. Sure. Hello, Mark. I'm looking for a <laughs> stupidest thing ever. <laughs> Why, hello, Mark? Okay. I'm looking for a hundred thousand investment for a ten percent stake in my company. Okay, Jay, fine. You listening to this? I'm listening. My company's called National Atmospheric Zone Industries. We specialize in modifi- mod- modified atmospheric enclosures. We hold the patent on the seal technology that allows us to contain what's inside our enclosures into the outside world. Temperature, humidity, all controlled via our latest app. We primarily started developing wine cellars and cigar humidors, but our customers ultimately wanted more customization and superiority. Who wants to live in a world where your dreams can't come true? So we offer several different models, electric, gas, and some even have heat capabilities. Our heat models really cook the competition. Any questions so far? Is this a greenhouse? Is now, that what, now is that I know what you're, what you're asking that, yourself. That, what's the real world application of what I'm trying to sell you? Okay. With? <laughs> just think of a place where you can bring your biggest detractors and poof, just like that, they're gone. Imagine having that power just the touch of a button. At Nazi, we let you take the echo chamber <laughs> to the gas chamber. Don't have any enemies, Mark, or not enough trolls? <laughs> what? <laughs> Think of how marketable this company would be in a foreign country. <laughs> or even your rich racist uncle. <laughs> Let me know when we can get to work. I think we're going to have a fucking heart attack with that one. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck do you want me to come up with something like that, dude? Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even have a pitch. I just I have, have an idea. What's, What's the, the idea? Uh, Come right, on, he's got to invest in one of J5, us. He's already J5, said J5, that. Oh, okay. Well, no, we'll, 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 we're the investment. Hold on, go ahead. Go to the next thing. All right, can, I give, you, one of can I give you my idea? Yeah. And I combine two of my favorite things. Okay. Oh, I got an idea now. This isn't like a fucking Tamunyan, like the thing from fucking Our Idiot Brother, right? No. All what right. the fuck is a Tamunyan? I never even it's heard of that. I don't even like tomatoes. If tomatoes had a face, I'd punch it right in the face. I'd fuck their face. Fuck tomatoes. Two of my favorite things. I love hibachi. It's great, right? Okay. What else do I love? Pussy. That's, yeah, there we go. We'll, strip clubs. Oh, wow. I got that one. Nice. I want to open up a hibachi themed strip club. So I have a question. Is the hibachi, is it like women cooking hibachi and they're naked? Absolutely. Okay. So not Bro. only are they doing, you know, how their much fancy oil's gonna splash on. You not only are they cooking. doing their fancy egg flipping and sake squirting, they're squirting sake out of their fucking. <laughs> I, wow. I think it's great. Wow. I'll never look at hibachi the same the shrimp, again. They can catch the shrimp. They can oh, pull absolutely. the shrimp up. 
A thousand percent. You could put the, the, the fucking onion ring volcano. They got they got thing. nothing on except the hat. <laughs> they just wearing the hat. Okay. Just no the apron. Hat. No, it's a strip. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe a see through apron? Yeah, I was saying maybe a see through no, apron. No, I think you gotta be closer. That's weird. No, you gotta have some kind of this a fucking t- shower curtain. If you're advertising shit, titches, maybe you have like, like fucking crazy apron. fucking hibachi tassels on your nipples. Okay. They got the spatulas on them. Yeah. All right, so Nico, what's yours? Uh, mine was an uh, actual idea. It's called Sneaky Snacks. So it's basically like a futuristic um, snack store and uh, make everything in house. It's changed like every single day. But we also. On the other side, so there's like an after dark room. You go into the after dark room, we have all cannabis infused snacks. So you're a snack store that makes homemade snacks and then you sell edibles. Okay, yeah. this is the dumbest idea. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Number one, it exists because every single uh, every, every single, single marijuana store <laughs> sells fucking edibles. <laughs> So instead of being able to buy weed, you could buy right. Cheetos. Cheetos. And so what would stop? Or I just fucking told course, you guys I hated course, this fucking segment. They would call segment them fucking Weedos. sucks. I can't believe these two morons didn't come prepared at all for this. I'm my bad. I didn't get, get my fucking Nazi. I have a business. I didn't put my can fucking swastika hat on. Hold my on, fault. Wait, 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 hold on. Jay Fine, what do you what do you what are you going with here? Uh what in, ter- in with that? I mean, it sounds like a dispensary, right? No, which, no, which it doesn't. Picking? Not which at all. Oh, it's like well, a between fucking Johnny Rock. Oh, between the three ideas, okay. I'm, I'm going. I'm, with, I'm going with Justin. I'm leaning. I'm leaning towards strip club hibachi. Yeah, I think you that, see what I'm saying? That sounds absolutely. I, I would honestly, as a third party, would agree with the strip club hibachi. <laughs> okay. Now, I just wouldn't. as a little, I'm going to strip hibachi. We can do catering behind the curtain. Okay. You asked for some ideas. I sent that idea to you, Mock Tank. And then I texted these two morons and said, pick the worst idea you could think of and let's make him make a decision. <laughs> the worst idea. Justin comes up with the best idea maybe ever. Yeah, yeah. Like he wasn't going to pick tits and fucking uh, hibachi hibachi. steak. Yeah. That's unbelievable. He's picking dispensaries. Threes. Yeah, it's. Uh, What's wrong I, with I that? didn't pick a fucking dispensary and then so you can buy weed. Okay, you guys. Jesus, ready? it's you called ready? sneaky snacks. The fucking sick spot that we could get like exclusive desserts. So like you're out, you're out in the gas chamber. Good to pass. Okay, hard pass. Yeah, hard pass. Hard pass. Yep, for legality reasons. All right. Well, um, tried. Now, if I could incinerate like waste instead of human beings, oh, what the fuck? You, you can use it hard. however you want to use it. It has heat capabilities. It okay. It has gas capabilities. I just think it's too much, too you expensive. Could, it, it, it's too there, exp- it's there, too expensive of a production to not line up with what with the necessity. I guess there they, theoretically you could bring whoever you wanted into this little zone, or whatever you wanted. Yeah, I guess, but like, yeah, but then you're talking about CO two emissions and my fucking damage in the ozone layer. You can't just be burning up random what do shit. You care about that? I, I I care about the planet. You, you know what? Do you drive Titty an electric Habat, car? And you know what? Do you t- drive an electric car? No, not yet. Then you don't care about the planet. No, Thank I do. You. Next, no, I do. Next subject. I do what I can. I do what I can. What the fuck do you do? And that starts. What the fuck do you do? I go with t- titty hibachi every day. No, you get titty hibachi. You gotta go oh, no if, way. If, I mean, if titty we're hibachi is, I feel oh, like the, the safe spot. Marco here. throws things out of plastic in recycling bins. Whoa. Um, next question I don't know how the is, Board of Health, though, would feel about it. They probably wouldn't like it very much. But honestly, like. Legs and eggs was a thing. Yeah, but I don't think that they're cooking. The yeah, naked broads cooking. aren't cooking, you know? Okay, that's fine. I guess that's yeah, different. It's like also that. a safety and hazard. I, another question is, do you just think that women should only get naked and cook? Is that the only two things that they're good for? <laughs> if we're going to put people on blast here. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is they're very pretty good sexist. At, they're pretty good at giving me wow. headaches. <laughs> <laughs> what is, all right, so the next pop culture question, we're going to move on. Pop culture question before we get to pray is going to be, what's the best song you think people forgot about? Is that pop culture? I guess. I mean, it's something to do with music. I'll tell you. I'm gonna you tell which you what one my is. pick is, Jay Fine. I'm tell you what my pick is. Okay. Novocaine by Frank Ocean. I think that's a classic song, and I feel like people forget about sucks. it a lot. Oh my god, this kid! I'm gonna go with Novocaine. I'm by not Frank gonna lie. Ocean. I don't even know if I know that. Song. Hey, Frank thumbs, Ocean. Thumbs Jay up Fine, you absolutely down. do. What is it? Novocaine, baby, baby. Wow, I fucking need fucking, Novocaine are, right now. You are fucking tone down. Get that out of my ears. What's your pick, Al? First of all, he has a way better song. Thinking about you is a million times better than Novocaine. I'm thinking about you. Um, um, Can I ask you an honest question? That's better than Novocaine. How many times do you think in this world, we're talking in the world, it's a big fucking place, do you think someone walks around and be like, damn, 
What have happened to Frank Ocean? I would say less than zero. I no one no. thinks about Frank Ocean. False. The, I think okay, Frank what's Ocean the one thing you think about when you think Frank Ocean? Like Nova Kane thinks about I think about a you. gay music star. That's all I think about. I think that he was one of the first guys to come out. He's like the Tyler Creator. Like, I think of Tyler Creator, and I think of him. That's what I think of Frank Ocean. Yeah, that's like... I, I, that's but, how... The, I mean, Nova Kane. No one even... That probably song wasn't even... That's the whole five of false? Billboard 100. False. Was it? I don't know. Look it, it up. Big. No, you it's just can't a, say it's, false when... It was a big, it was a big song. Can't. But that's the whole fucking point. No, What's but, a good song that people forgot about? It yeah, but, but if fucking. they never remembered it in the first place... Yeah, I think like general that's my general point. population like, never even heard of that. I like song. lifestyle, rich and the famous by Good Style. It's only yeah, that's a great song. It's actually a pretty good song. That's, that's actually a good that's, song. That's, my that's actually song. a pretty good pick. I'm not gonna lie to you, Nico. That's a great song. I actually think it's a pretty good pick. I think my pick fucked you up. Pick. No, I I don't. I, I got a pick too. Legitimately, I think I could have said Happy Birthday song and I would have fucked his pick. Yeah, oh, no, okay. his pick is so point. bad. It's like no, it's it, Jay Fine has no clue what what it is. He thought he was jack this off. Jay Fine, have you at least heard my song? Oh yeah. What? Oh, so my uh, I got I got a nice little pick too. I think I, I have no idea. Little band called Tears for Fears. Oh my God, Justin! Everybody knows about this song. It gets it's, played on the radio once a week. I don't listen to the radio. I'm sorry. I don't, like, I don't even know Tears every, for Fears. I it's every, everybody, everybody wants to rule the everyone fucking jam. Absolute smash. Jam City. I know it's you know jam, and but everybody know knows that song. What song? song? What's the song? Everybody wants. I listen to it at the gym. I fucking love that song. I'm saying no one forgets okay. about it. That's my point. I don't know the name of this song, but I was just listening to an Eminem song off his new thing, Curtain Call. Someone sent it to me, and it had this guy's name in it. Oh, Eminem song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, What's their jam? Um, uh, Roman Candles. We, we are young what, tonight. No, it's on. No, we no, no. We are young. That's the fucking song. Uh, that song's horrible. Oh, no, you're outside would, of your mind, Marco. I would, that song's a smash. Go take your fucking Nova King. I would jam it up but, your ass. <laughs> <laughs> we are young. <laughs> isn't a fucking what? jam, dude. It is, uh, it's, what? Hey, listen, I'll give that you credit. Ow, ow, what ow, song ow. is that? It's we tonight. We are young. Dude, so but you said it's a question that people so, forgot about, right? I agree. Al, you don't I'm, know that song. I know that fucking song. I don't think Smashed. people have forgot about it. I think they have. What I do you mean? When's the last time anyone listened to that? I, actually need to I feel like but it's in every fucking you know, commercial movie. Whatever. Hold on a second. That's fine. But you know what? Maybe At least you can people ago. remember the song, Nico. Yeah. Maybe they didn't forget it. It's a good because song. Because it's such a good fucking song. It is a good song. Okay. Half the people listening probably never even heard of Frank Ocean. I think that's false, bro. I think everybody knows Frank you Ocean. You talk to 17 year olds. Frank Ocean has Frank, right? fucking terrible album covers. They wait, don't know. They second. probably shut this wait. off. There was too much sports talk to start. So the, the 17 year old girls are probably way out on this, okay? Yeah, Let's gone. even clip this Wait, out. you can't say you talk to 17 year old TikTok girls is an absolute fact. Because that's like kind of insane. I want to see your numbers. I want to see the insights. No, stop. That's fucking, you're a sick person. That's he didn't why. mean you talk to them. He just meant they're oh, the no, people no, that no, follow no, you. No, no, oh, God. I was like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, no. Not physically. That's crazy. I actually don't know, to be honest. What? We, we, none of us. Know. You <laughs> could be talking to seventeen minutes. Minutes. All I'm saying is your audience. Well, she'll be eighteen in like two months, bro. Hold on a minute. If there's <laughs> fear, if there's grass on the infield, play ball, yeah, dog. That's fucking they have psychological issues. Make sure to keep that part in. <laughs> what's, what's the second part of it? What? If not, turn around play in the mud. Is that no, what you say? Al, you're a you're sick. Oh, ass. Sick. Get sick in the head. Sick. All yeah, right. For sponsorship reasons. We're gonna cut that. Yeah, huh? That, yeah, that's we can't it. cut that. No, you absolutely not. You don't need to put it on a T-shirt. You don't need a sponsor that's gonna. That's it's gonna. Uh, it's back this episode has been sponsored by Blue Chew. Get your. <laughs> <laughs> this episode's yeah, Jesus fuck. What um was I gonna say? Um, it's right, actually so sponsored in. by Turtle Boy. Yeah, oh stop. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Um, How is that guy? You should invite him on to the next know, podcast. Bring it Talk in. it out. Hey, you know no, what? That stop. was, you know what I told Marco? Oh I told Marco, I think that's part of the reason why we're in. I said, sometimes you guys have similar opinions and you need something to kind of yeah, bounce yeah, yeah. off you a little bit. Right? Turtle Boy. Yes. I, Turtle Boy would be an awesome person to bring in here. You Absolutely. two arguing? And I hey, would, would guess what? Awesome. He loves little girls too. You can both bring him in and talk about that. <laughs> and and honestly, if you really did want to, if you wanted to Some go, shambles. if you wanted to take Al's investment, that you have a perfect. So we're gonna cut the last five minutes of this entire podcast. That should probably. Cut. I think you should actually cut that. No. Cut that that you just said. We're gonna cut and put that at the beginning. So we should sell it on OnlyFans. Yeah, no, yeah. no. So <laughs> the next thing we're going to is uh, the final. Our final topic of the day is uh, "Pray" was our movie of the week to like look over and like see what was up with. 
Um, I'm going to give, I'll give my opinion first. I thought I'd read, watched a couple reviews on this. I was interested by it. I'm not too, too into predator movies. I'm kind of trying to get like into them more. Um, I thought it started slow. I thought it took them forever to show the actual predator. I don't know why they had him walking around invisible the entire time. Um, it took a little while to get going. It's definitely a slow burn. I would say to start, I think it picks up from the middle to like the end of the movie. I would probably rate this like a 74. I think it's good. I don't really have a desire to watch it again. Um, I think it's the best Predator movie that's come out in a long time. That was an interesting concept. J- Justin, my, my grade is a 74. Justin. Why oh, yeah, does he walk around invisible the whole movie? He walks around invisible the ent- almost the entire have movie. Have you ever you seen know? any Predator movie ever? Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I have. Yeah, I, it's I a have. part of his. It's his shtick. I know it's part of the shtick, but like, dude, the Look, thing why is, does it's, it's why does Michael why Myers does Harry wear a Paul, <laughs> why does Harry Potter wear the invisible cloak? Why does Michael Myers wear a mask? So you're, tell, so you're telling me the Predator is just known for being invisible? It's not known for all the cool weapons. It's part of his camouflage. That's shit. part of his shtick. Is you can't see so, him. So can he's I, in camouflage. If you could fucking turn, if you could turn, if he's a hunter, if you hunt people for a sport. And you have the ability to go camouflage. You can guarantee fucking T. I'm going camouflage. That makes him like an apex warrior. What are you talking about? Exactly. Like, like a huge, Yo, just think about it. He all of a sudden I, I, a fucking appears behind you. I shit my pants. Al shits his pants. You know why? Because we never knew he was there the whole time. I don't know. That's I would, crazy, I would, crazy take. See, this I crazy don't take, think. I, just did, I thought it took them too long to show the actual Predator. I like that he looks different. He looks a little more ancient and old school, which is cool. Yeah, but it's like a prequel and we already know. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Where it's going, yeah, and you already that, know right? what I have it is. This question for you, Marco: If you were to close your eyes right now before you watch that movie, and I told you think about the Predator, could you? Could you think about the Predator? Yeah, you would know what he looks like, right? Yeah. So why do they have to show him? You already know what he looks like, and because it's more supposed- it's more psychological warfare yes. that they don't show. But I, I, That's what I makes them more interesting. I, I think you. I think first of all, they didn't because you know not. he's there, but you don't know where the fuck he is. I know, but they could have shown him in like quick glimpses and stuff. But you don't think like, like the suspense, did. like all you watch. They did fucking, stuff like that. I was the guy. The guy what that you does watching? the horror first, movies. the first big fight he has with the grizzly bear, which was incredible, unreal. They could have shown his full thing. They did. They the blood dripped they on him. And I know, but like they could have just shown. That's way cooler than it just being on him. Yeah, I disagree. I don't know. All um, right, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree. read off some things that I thought that I wrote down. Okay. I want a tomahawk. That's number one. And yeah. not just a regular tomahawk. I don't. When I say I want a tomahawk, I can go to Home Depot and buy a fucking tomahawk. I mean, I want to be fucking skilled with a tomahawk. Yeah. Okay. That was fucking sick. Bad. Watching her throw that shit, bring it back to you with unreal. the rope and everything like that. The little... I thought the cinematography was great. Some of the shots completely were awesome. agreed. It was unbelievable. I loved when they were going through the cornfield and he was invisible, but you saw the fucking corn splitting and all that stuff. Love that. Amber Mid Thunder, she's the actress name. Great fucking name. Yeah. Fabulous Indian name. name. A Native American name. Native, Native whatever. Native, yeah, right, Native right, American right. name. Um, hot too. Yeah, she was cute. Yeah, she's yeah. definitely oh, yeah. cute. You look her up now, and she yeah. guess what? Twenty five. Yeah, that's good Might to go. Might be out of your age range, but that's it's a nice age range. Sponsored by Blue Chew. What I didn't like was all the hunters, right? All the hunters. They're supposed to be this big group of hunters, this Native American tribe. All the guys are like, oh, this girl, she doesn't know what she's doing. They don't trust her at all. She's the only one that's like, this is not a normal animal. This is not a, a lion. This is not a bear. This is something different. Trying to be the it's voice walking of on reason. its hind legs. Like, this is crazy. How do you just strip a snake, like the skin off of a snake? And everyone's like, no, go back to the, go gather. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that was a little ridiculous. So I did like that shot where, um, She's walking in the opposite direction of the women after they kill the lion. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Ass. That was very it's cool. Kind of very that. cool. Yeah. Definitely agree with that. By the way, your your rating sec, your rating while we're on that, your rating score on everything is just absolutely ridiculous. It's, I don't know how. You just think that, I don't know, <laughs> is it 74? I think it's a 74 film. It's a good movie. I don't know. That was I just a good think movie. your pizza review ratings suck. It's just, you, you're too high. You give you don't give any high numbers. For, yeah, because I don't I, I don't just hand out high praise like that. I know. I don't know. If, if something's good, you say it's really good. It should be in the eights, in my opinion. I didn't I didn't say this movie was really I good. I know, but I'm just saying in general. Okay, fine. Warriors screaming before they attack, that seems like the dumbest fucking thing in the world. Yeah, it's like you're trying to scare somebody that's clearly doesn't give a fuck I about you. I understand screaming afterwards like she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole, the thing's but clearly you, doesn't give a fuck about you. You get rid of the element away. of surprise. Yeah, you yeah. fucking... Oh, oh, and then you yeah. go right at them. It's like now he has like knows exactly where you're coming from. Right. Stupid. Exactly. What else did I have? Oh, the funniest part <laughs> is when the predator, <laughs> predator escapes from the bear trap. 
like kills three people, right? You just fucking chopping, mowing people down. I know, Nico, you didn't watch it, which is another thing you didn't fucking prepare for. But anyways, he kills three guys, right? <laughs> the, it, these yeah. are the French guys, okay? okay. So there's a whole French army, right? He kills the fucking three guys. All of a sudden, this fucking guy starts screaming in French and tossing this little fucking four-inch dagger side to side. Like, <laughs> close, hold, 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 hold. like that was going to do anything. All of a sudden, the fucking predator takes the bear trap and throws it right off his fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> puts his fucking I legit kills him. was crying laughing. Yeah. I had to pause the movie. It was holy. No, that was and the only that was awesome. Dude, they, but it's like, what do you ex- like? Okay, obviously, yeah. All right, I didn't fucking watch the movie, but I can kind of get a fucking glimpse of what it would actually look like. One fucking person thinking that they can stand to the predator. You get fucking hosed. All right. Well, not even then- that. You're not the first guy in. You just watched three of your boys get friggin' massacred. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and right. you would think that tossing a knife yeah. back and forth to each hand. That's like that's what I'm saying. Like you're man. in a fucking eighteen hundred. I don't get. Fight. I don't yeah, get it because he can. Ma- he would. The predator could fucking take out. All the well, I, I will did. say, I will say, they uh, set being up, fucking camouflaged would definitely help. Well, hold yes, on, they set 100%. it up in the end of the movie where like she's pretty smart with how she gets to him. Yeah, and, no, like, it's great. Him. It's actually great. But I, 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 I guess there like has that. to be multiple predators. Yeah, right. Oh, well, yeah, they, yeah, usually yeah. Like, they usually do like they usually do like three in the movie, but they only yeah. did one for this. They only one. did one. Yeah. So I, the, the only one more thing that I I'm sorry, one more thing I just didn't like really quick. I thought the dialogue. Would you have liked it more if it was more like an apocalypto style, as far as like Native American, how Native Americans like portrayed? No, because I really hated how the the we couldn't understand what the French people were saying. I fucking hated that. I watch everything with subtitles. Just so oh, I can you hear do. the accent. Yeah. Just they have a dub. Way easier. Like Apache version. Do they? Oh, Comanche. Because I thought the dialogue was a little too like young adult coming of agey, like Hunger Games y. It's sometimes like, yeah, man, like what the hell? Like, you know what I mean? It was a little unrealistic for me. So you would want it to be all t- subtitles? No, no, no. Just like a little more like grounded and a little more like stoic. You I know think- what I mean? Like a little more like. Um, not my, not exactly like Apocalypto, but maybe more like uh, like. Do you ever watch Hostels with Christian Bale? Yeah. Yes. Okay, like that. Movies fucking. I crazy. think my my yeah. favorite yeah. my favorite aspect of the movie, I'd say the fact that uh, Predator like found her to be no threat, and then she oh, becomes a threat. And then she well she was was always the threat, right? Yeah. But. It, he could have killed her multiple times and just right. was like, oh, you're no threat. Well, I think Fuck that's, you. It's trying to show that like, you know, it's kind of like trying to be like a symbolization that like, yeah. women are. Which I thought it was very that way. tasteful way. Of, like movies nowadays, they ram everything down your throat. Okay. All the social justice bullshit right down your throat. Agreed. It's like, we know you're doing it. Like, and it makes me less interested in the movie Agreed. instead of being subtle about yeah. it. Yeah. Where they low key slid the social commentary in. And it's like, you're already hooked and along for the ride of the yep. movie and you accept it more and it makes it more digestible. I agree. I thought that it wasn't too on the nose. It was more tasteful. Yeah, absolutely. It was like, it and you're rooting for this girl. Like, fuck yeah. yeah, and yeah. You're fucking bad. Yeah, they, they, I would marry this girl and yeah. let her beat the shit out. Of me. I almost yeah. came here in the fucking war paint. <laughs> I legit was yeah, that when she cool. screams. Like, yeah. I was thinking no, that, that would that definitely would have been cool. Um, but like I said, I also was like not that long. Man, like hour, really hour quick. forty, it's like yeah, yeah, went by really quick, which is good. That's a solid. I'll give me. Yeah, no, keep it tight, cool. keep it tight, high yeah. and tight. Sometimes I like long. But the cinema, the cinematography in that movie was. Well, his his first movie was Ten Cloverfield Lane, Den Tra- which is Den a Tra- great movie. I love Ten Cloverfield. Did you watch Ten Cloverfield Lane? Oh, wow! Watch it, yeah. You're missing out. Yeah, Cloverfield it's probably Lane one of the first. best, be- one of the better thrillers that I've seen. In what's it about? Dude, John Goodman. It's John. Go- it's basically like John Goodman is this guy, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character, the girl. She like wakes up in this basement, like a like a shelter. It's almost like a ba- like a basement. Did you see Ten Cloverfield Lane? Uh, I saw like bits and pieces of it. Okay. So she wakes up with the, in John Goodman's like bunker. And there's this other guy there, this guy Emmett, who's like a younger scruffy, like Southern looking guy. And the entire time he's like, there's aliens invading. Like I'm keeping you safe down here. Yada, yada, yada. And then like you slowly find out and realize like she got like snoops around that Like this guy probably killed some like girl. And you're trying to think the whole time you're like, is there actually something out there? Is this guy just a fucking maniac? Like, what's the deal here? He just have me capped. And it just, yeah, is he just holding me? Like, it's it's back and forth thing. And I thought the, uh, I didn't like how it ended, 10 Cloverfield Lane, but as far as building tension, masterclass. So it doesn't surprise me that Dan Trachtenberg made a second good movie because I've, I've been waiting for his next movie. He's great at building tension. That's yeah. only his second movie? That's his second movie, I'm wow. almost positive, yeah. yeah. 
He might have made one other one that was probably also really good, but he's and for a straight to streaming Ooh. movie. Great. I'm really surprised it didn't get a theatrical release. So I really am good. as well, well. If they were going to release, I'd it, give it an eight out of ten. I go seven point four. If, if, if you like that universe, yeah, it's probably one of the best Predator movies. It made ever. me want to see more Predator shit. I can tell you that much. Yeah, absolutely. Like, definitely did. You know yeah. what I mean? As far as someone who's like a casual fan, uh, number number one for me would be that one. Then number two, the one with Adrian Brody. That's a good one. That's like really. I heard a lot of people right? like. Oh, that movie's it? awesome. Is it really great cast? I heard it was like. Is that the one Shane Black did? I think so. Because I heard it was kind now, of Marco, a miss. Are you gonna be? Like, is it really going to bog you down that he goes invisible in the other movies? No, as long as he's not invisible the whole time. Like, he was invisible the whole first half of the movie, and then, like... Yeah, but that's, like, the... That's the tension. He's in war. He he thinks he's in war, right? This predator animal is in war. It's hunting 24-7, essentially. I thought it was such a badass thing. I wanted to see more of it. I wanted to see more of the predator You could see it. It's like like, uh, uh, that movie Nope, right? Yeah. Don't you agree the tension of not seeing what's happening or Absolutely. not understanding what's going on like that matters like building tension? But he's in the it's frame. Theater, it's That's theater, my point though. It's theater of the of, mind. But a, but a lot of Nope's tension is with off camera stuff that's happening off camera. Yeah, but it took them a while to even show did you like Nope? We talked about it on last week's episode. Yeah, but what oh. makes it what yeah. makes that yeah. movie scary is the perspective of the people being hunted, not the viewer. So if you put yourself in, I think they went into it too getting, that everyone knows what Predator is. Yeah, it's not like, exactly. It's not like it's a new character, and even if it was a new character, I would understand that discretion. Like, oh, let's wait a little bit to see the monster and fucking everything. Well, well, I think if it was like a newer any, character, I would have liked it. Have I, you I, ever I, seen Signs? If it was, have a, you ever seen uh, what's that Night Shyamalan movie where they were all in the village? Oh, the, the village. village. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about the, the village, ta- right? The town. Yeah. The town. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I think if it was a new character, I would have liked that a little bit more. The whole like invisible for half. Are you thing. are you excited for the new Halloween movie? Uh I'm morbidly curious to see how they end this. Did you see Halloween ends? Hold on a second. Okay. I forgot totally about this that I have qualms with Marco about the Halloween shit. Okay. Go ahead. Now he's time. such a fucking hater. Oh my 24/7. god. What was your score on? I bet you it's in the sixties. Oh, it's low. Oh, it's Halloween lower ends. Than that. Yes, I mean, a Halloween kills. Yes. It might be the worst movie I've ever seen in You're my life. Out of your mind. Oh it might be gosh. one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. I can't even. Say it was I don't, fucking. I don't horrible. watch. Scary I thought it was movies, horrendous. Uh, Al, what's the point of the movie? Not Al, a fan. Al, you know Al, what's the point of the movie? Kind of gets pushing scared. the story along. What yeah. story? The story Nothing that happens. Event. All he does is he just ch- he's, he's the Terminator and he just kills everybody. That's Welcome it. to the whole fucking show, <laughs> no, Mark. <it's> not. No, <laughs> what are you talking it's about? Not. It's the whole series is like that. No, you just, have to suspend disbelief. No. He's been killed a thousand times. Yes, what is so, talking about? But you know, why okay, so what die, dude? So why what? won't you die? So no wait a shit. second. I, I so mean, wait a second. He's acting like this is the first movie. Can I tell you? Can I just? Can I set the scene for you? Because I text him, hey, me and Tom are going to go see Halloween. Do you want to come? Yeah, dude, I'll come. Let's go. I fucking love Halloween, man. Let's I go do. to I really this like movie. The first one in this, new this kid shows up. We're in the theater. First of all, he walks. <laughs> he starts walking this. through the this. entrance. I remember this. I'm like, where is this kid? If I miss like this movie, I'm, he walks in with a pumpkin, <laughs> <laughs> this big pumpkin mask on. I just see this dweeb. <laughs> I'm like, who's this idiot in the pumpkin <laughs> mask walking I through? Fucking all of a sudden, a he you. walks up to me, and then it's, I go, oh my god. <laughs> So, so we're in the theater. I just look over at him. He's got this big pumpkin mask on. Like you like, watched the movie with him? No, I was like this is his favorite fucking movie like series of all time. Yeah. I've never seen somebody so yeah. dedicated He's to it. He's a slave to the content. That's the the movie problem, ends. Me and Tommy are like that was the greatest fucking movie I've ever seen. I could live without it. Uh, I, I wish I'd never seen that movie. But hold on, he can live without it. It's different from him saying it's the worst. He said it was the worst movie ever. I it's think one of the worst. Uh, me and Tom seen. left. We didn't even say bye to him. We just went home. I'm like, yeah, I can't fine. even say bye to this kid. That's fine. I, I would be. Don't curious, talk to so me like, till if Christmas. You up the, like the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. What that is compared to other. Jay, fine. It's got to be seventies. Probably. Uh, here's the thing, Al. The first ha- Al, which Halloween? I always go Al, by the audience. Halloween, the Halloween movie, Hills. Here's the thing. The first movie. Right. This time, I think great. the most fascinating thing about Michael Myers was always like 
he's human, but he still manages to pull all this shit off. And he's hey, still some, super hot to kill. He's got, uh, got a 39% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, audience? No way, right? Audi- audience? Ass, that's why. Yo, why on hey, no. that's, that's so, pretty bad. Audience or critics? Double, double check it here. That's, that's where hey, th- this that's is the critics. this is the most recent one where Lenny Clark gets fucking got. Yeah, he uh, gets all right. Audience is sixty six percent. Okay, See, there that's you go. still not even that good. That's a so, that, that's for a better horror than some movie. Of your pizza reviews, Mark. No, it's not for a horror that's movie. It's not a passing grade. It's not passing. Well, here's grade. the other thing: yeah, is sixty six. Here's the other thing: is for a movie, sixty six is a solid movie. No, I call that solid. It's entertaining. See, here's the thing: I don't know. People what do you want to want a score of movies? That's the problem. No, no. But if it was a seventy six instead of a sixty six, a sixty six is kind of ass. I watch movies to be entertaining. Exactly. That's it. That's the that's the thing. It should be a past fucking so film. Do you like Fast Did and this Furious films? You? Well, it's, yes, Depends. If I'm in the movie, movie. absolutely. You, what? you don't like Fast and Furious movies? I just think they kind of get repul- like repulsive. Yeah, who cares? I that's think, what I, I want to do. I, I want to be hungover on a fucking Saturday. My throw hand on, on Fast my dick. and Furious. Watch Vin Diesel. They just talk about rapping. family while I ignore my family while I'm nursing <laughs> my fucking ankle. They just. They, Jesus Christ! I, they I, just I, all I, of a sudden you're Siskel and fucking Ebit. No, I'm not. I like the Fast Was and the Furious. Wasn't it Ebit and Rose? Okay, because like they're enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. They are. Enjoyment matters. So, wait a second. You're a little fucking crazy. Movie, Number 10 is going to be based out of space, by I, the way. I think that's It's a little love. fucking ridiculous. I think it should get I'm more ridiculous. Very, I'm very You think it should get more ridiculous? So, did you. Well, it's going to be. What about Transformers? You like Transformers? No. Transformers. Yeah. Okay. What you like the part about Mark Wahlberg stopping the fucking Decepticon with a sword? Did you like Hold, that part? Well, I actually didn't watch the Mark Wahlberg one. Yeah, good. You're better off. But and while we're, I thought the original trilogy was crazy. I liked him. Awesome. The original trilogy was good. That's any movie. Movie where there's 17 of them, you run out of good content. Good, right. You're just throwing shit the at the Oscar wall and seeing Oscar. what sticks. Megan Fox? Yes. She's all never had enough body for me, but she's got a gorgeous face. She's definitely really pretty. She's got weird thumbs. That's yeah, all. She that's does that. have weird thumbs, she looks but like no one's a one fucking them. psychopath. I love it. So, I love so here's it. the thing with Halloween ends, like, right? Fucking this, claw I mean, my I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm excited to see how they wrap this up. And I hope it's not like super predictable. They're building the whole movie up to be like this whole next franchise. Is that Jamie Lee Curtis is gonna is like the only person that can kill this fucking guy? But don't you think that it's they should? It's about trauma. It's been about trauma. Don't you think that they should close fucking... the circle? It started with absolutely her. every single. Fucking it should end movie. with her. Why should it end with her? Absolutely, it, it should. But like, how is it I not agree ended, that it should. Though? What but are we doing? It's a whole new well, series. It's how, none of the time, the timeline. Oh, so uh, none of the shit that is, I've watched red, before. Jamie Lee Curtis everything. run through hospitals with the no, none of that matters. All Essentially, that matters. the first movie was like the second. So it's 1978. Right? Yeah, 19. Kind of. I'll give you the timeline if you listen. 1978. It's not modern. 1978. It's the first Halloween. Forty years later, 2018. Huh? Forty years. It's That's like now. Same. It's part two. Each of the new series starts as part two. So they were never brother and sister. None of that shit matters. Which I uh, hate that they retconned that because I thought that was a great no, emotional that's stupid. time. Between Even John Coppett that was like, yeah, I wrote that like 2 a.m. Like I was a six pack deep. Like that was bullshit. Even but I think like that it. creates some emotional connection between her and Michael Myers. Yeah, I but think you that's don't like need it. Thing. I think it's scarier that there emotion. is no emotional connection. Because that is true. He's just like a serial killer. Just, it's way scary. It's not like I'm going after my sis. It's exactly. Like, nah, I'm gonna come fucking kill you too, you dumb bitch. And it's even better for for for, for future storylines that they're not. Because like, okay, he kills her. I don't or like whatever. the movies, man. I don't like. I don't the know, scary. I love them. I don't like, like the scary. scary. I love, I love them. them. I think they all suck. The whole evil They're also ties extremely tonight, scary. Mantra. Listen, horrible. we get it. Stupid. That was horrible. But that's again to to for my point. That's the social justice being shoved in your face. Correct. They were trying terrible. to be like, oh, mob mentality, blah, blah, blah. Right. I could do without that. But barring that, solid movie, great movie. Michael Myers, the whole firefighter scene, absolutely insane. But dude, what, what, at what point did this guy turn into the Terminator? Like, he's that's what I don't man. like. I, it's like he just he's just a, he's just now he's like again, but that's why like, like this is a what, 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 what bothers he you just he like, the predator. it's like he's never watched one of the movies what, before what, you can't like go into the, the movie and just accept but it for what it is you what? what I'm saying please the, that's why I always like Michael Myers more than somebody like Freddy or Jason because he was like a regular guy or seemingly so that just like had this knack no, for like no he wasn't always supernatural people and hiding he's been, and shit. He's he's been like supernatural burnt. this he's whole been time supernatural this whole this, time this now he's a regular guy in this series he's a regular Wait, guy man, what the fuck are we talking about he's like an old man no he's not a regular guy in this what do you mean he got they they shot him they beat him with a baseball but bat he never fucking dies mark what do you want to say 
because he I, never does. Then I thought that took some mystique out of the character for me. That's what what mystique? It's been since day one. What are you so, talking so about? So what bothers you? That he you like thought he was up? unscathed in the first movie? No, I just thought he was this guy that kind of like that just has narrowly avoided death. All he was times. shot six times in the chest in the very first movie. How's he stabbed alive? in the neck? How's he alive? That's the point. That's fucking He's bullshit. He's the fucking bro. boogeyman, bro. Well, that's, that's, that's bullshit. That's the point. That's so stupid, bro. So how do you fucking there, kill this guy? Cut his fucking head off? Survived, so why didn't you just say that? I 50 Cent got stopped. shot nine times, bro. <laughs> yeah. Paul Pierce got stabbed seven times. He won an, an NBA championship. What are we talking about here? I don't. I don't. I'm just saying. Honestly, I, I, I honestly don't know. I, don't, I just I think just it's fucking ridiculous. How's with, Michael uh, Miles uh, still alive? A child is trapped under so a, Michael, a, a, a vehicle, you? and the mother lifts it up. What? What's a, that? Just in general, like oh. you've never heard those stories where a kid's trapped and the mother's lifting cars up. Yeah, and she's it's like hundred pounds. Like that from the jump, he acts like. He never got touched. Or so what bothers stories? you that he no. can walk up and basically crush a human skull with his hand? No. I think it was it, it was just added to the mystique of the character that he like always somehow narrowly avoided death by like a smidge. No, he got shot six times. You just not remember movies and shit. No, uh, okay, it's either but, you didn't watch the movie, the original movie, or you just completely can't comprehend what just happened. Like you narrowly missed isn't getting shot. In the chest. No, I, I meant just like not, like narrowly avoided dying is what I yeah, should and, say. Yeah, and, and same and happened say. in these oh, movies. In Halloween Kills, he was, he had his, it all takes place in the same night. Kills right. and Halloween 18 ends up being the same night. Right. So he, oh, he ends, different. it is a little different. So he ends up, but they did that with one and two, but two doesn't matter now, like the original. So. He's behind this barricade with the fire. Like he's had appendages blown off, blah, blah, blah. I get his thumb shot off. He doesn't, he, he narrowly escapes death. Cool for the storyline. But he's not like, oh, I got my head cut off, but it was secretly, you know, the ambulance driver. They didn't do any of that bullshit, which is cool. So I like the direction Dana McBride went, where they made him more human as opposed to him being fucking electrocuted and kicked in the chest by Buster Rhymes. Yeah, right. You know that what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's horrible. If anything, what he's trying to say is that it's going Trick or treat, crazy. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Trick or treat, motherfucker. <laughs> that was brutal. Break your neck. Come on. Break your neck. Come on. Yeah, what? Now, did you like the Rob Zombie ones? I haven't, I haven't I seen them. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, was the, the Rob Zombie one. ones where they uh, had to go visit him in jail, and he was like had no mask on. He had his face down. He was like chained to the yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Dude, I thought that those were fucking kind of creepy. I thought those ones were nuts, but there wasn't so those that the movie that like everybody that died I, was fucking. Having I think sex. Rob Zombie should probably be on a watch list if we're being honest. The girl was it, that he, played for a long time, Jamie yes, Lee yeah. Curtis, <laughs> Scout Thompson, I believe is her name. Unbelievable. Really? She's so good in that role. Yeah, but way better than the original Jamie Lee, in my opinion. Really, way better. I just think that they're they're. I, I'm. I like. I said. I'm morbidly curious. To see well, how Jamie they Lee got in because of her tits, right? That's how she was like. That's what they did. Like, no, Jamie Lee got in because her mother was in Psycho. She uh, never showed her tits right. in that movie. No, no, but I meant like Jamie. They, they were there though. Like oh, people yeah. knew they were there. What was her yeah, mother's name? Like, Lorraine. Uh, what the fuck? Something Curtis. Whatever. Yeah, I don't right. know. But she was the girl that got killed in the shower in Psycho. Right. Yeah. Right. Pretty iconic. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just morbidly curious to see how they wrap the trilogy up. Yeah, I'm hearing something about like a uh, copycat killer or some shit like that. I'm really hope really... they don't fucking go that road because that would be stupid. That would be dumb. In my opinion, <laughs> that'd be fucking. <laughs> but moronic. they have to listen. You act like fucking Hollywood has all these new and fresh ideas. They're gonna repurpose it somehow. Maybe, uh, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I hope they don't overthink this. I hope they just I know. try and like. Just, I'm, just, I'm excited for. Just I just want to fucking plane. watch when, the movie. Land the when, plane. Land the plane. Just but, land I, the plane. but you don't even like land the, plane. the plane. You don't even like where we're going. Yeah, it's like, been well, a little it, bumpy. It, I, 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 it's I, been I, a little I, turbulence. It's I, okay. I, no one like, dies from turbulence. I like I'm like so fun. confused with what's recently <laughs> gone on in this fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I can't You wouldn't even watch Prey. I think the edible he probably took is fucking kicking in. That's what it is. Those eyes are closing faster and faster. So hold on a second. I'm saying. Yes, sir. Wait, Al. I'm saying. I really liked the first. But I really liked the 2018 Halloween. I thought I it was awesome. It. I, I, I thought so it was lost, fantastic. Dude. I thought the suspense was. I thought this. I thought all of like the kill setups in this movie in kills 
were like super predictable and routine. They did the same thing every time. Everybody's a moron. It's Everybody just... in the movie is the stupidest person. But I mean, ever. Marco, it's a, it's a fucking it's a slasher movie. Like, I know what do you what do you expect? but but eighteen it, it still 18, has a twist wait, though. It's a eighteen nice twist. eighteen Halloween eighteen was trying to show you that there's a different depth and a different side to this movie that can be approached. And I was like, what the I fuck like is this, this kind of new direction. This has me a little more engaged. Than your standard slasher movie would have me. So I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this. Would you agree? My thing is, can you walk back? That's one of the worst movies you've ever seen. Or are you going to stand by that? No, movie? I'm standing by that. Oh, yeah. No, I thought I, I did not like Halloween kills at whatsoever. So you would never rewatch it? No, I have no reason to. Okay. None. I think, that's I fine. think it deserves a rewatch. I think, like most of your opinions, I wholeheartedly disagree. With <laughs> well, that's great. I mean, that's why you. we're on Earth. Yeah, exactly. It's on Earth. Now, while we're at it. Okay. You mind if we play a little game? Me sure. Yeah, I'll just ask you a few questions. Little games again. Yeah. Break it up because no one wants to listen to movie talk all day. Okay. I'm sure your followers want to hear some of this. Okay. It's just going to be like this or that. Okay. Give you two things. You pick this or you pick that. Okay. okay. Are you single or taken? Single. Single. Coke or Pepsi? I've always liked Pepsi more. <sighs> My God, that's. I got to agree with them. Uh, I, I, the same uh, thing. Uh, 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 I can't that's tell the fucking absurd, and um, I can't even get to the other fourteen questions. Bro, uh, how Pepsi is that legitimately meth heads drink Pepsi. Yeah, that's what the fuck like are you talking sweet. about? It's so sugary. You don't think so sugary has no fucking bubbles. All right, canned Coke is the greatest thing in the world. You guys are or fucking sociopaths. Or well, fountain Coke are fucking nuts, dude. Yes. Coke yeah, I'm like gonna say Coke is it goes cold like can shit. of Coke. No, it doesn't. Fountain Coke, good fountain Coke, McDonald's fountain Coke. Bottled Coke. Uh, Number 9,000 is probably Pepsi. Okay. But that's fine. Okay, okay. go ahead. We're, we're, oh, we're my God, that. dude. Firm mattress or soft mattress? Soft mattress. Soft mattress. Are you tits or an ass guy? Tits. Over ass, huh? Always. I'm not even going to bring up that life is good post. We'll move on for that. DH or no DH? <laughs> I just got Wait, what life ass. is good? What? What are you talking about? DH or no, no, go oh back to what you just said. God, what are you talking about? It. You don't remember you when don't you remember put up life your girlfriend's good, ass and you said life is good? This I would have thought you were an ass man. I was like 19, yeah. I know. That was crazy, bro. Ass, man. Uh, that was, that was wild. Like that, this like kid brings seconds. this girl to like Christmas dinner. <laughs> The, and the next, next day, day, he wakes up her in the ass morning. Ass is just on Instagram. This man. kid wakes up with with her in the morning with his with her ass on his face, and he's selfieing. Hey, it was a that nice ass. Is it, was a nice, it was a nice ass. I think so. she broke up with him fifteen minutes yeah. later. But I would have yeah. guessed ass man from that. Yeah, picture. no, That's I, I would have said ass man. I'm what glad, was, I'm glad we that? settled it. I got the note. What was the, the next one? Uh, pizza or fried chicken? I know. No, you, there was another question before DH that. DH and O. Oh, DH and O. DH. Uh DH. You like the DH? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Pizza or fried chicken? Uh, Pizza. Pizza. Most versi- more versatile? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. I digest it a little bit better. Vodka or tequila? Uh, I'm going to go with tequila. Less calories and it's an upper. Wow. Okay, I think there's less calories, no? No. I think, yeah, I honestly think that tequila moment. would put you on your fucking bandans and fucking vodka would probably help you out a little bit, but. Tequila's literally an upper, though. That's, I that think that's true. a myth. I actually like tequila better, too. Yeah. Tequila tastes like Neapolitan gas. Neapolitan or Sicilian? Neapolitan. Oh, style of pizza? Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Let's run ass like ice cream. So you, you just like hate people who could have like black descendants? Just ask the next question, dude. Because you're just a- <laughs> Michael Jackson or R. Kelly? You got to pick one. Michael Jackson. So you're, you're pro-pedophile. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sean Connery or Mel Gibson? Uh, Mel. So you hate Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok or Instagram? Uh, TikTok is going to be mine. So you're supporting the People's Republic of China and all the yeah. other crosses. Real nice. What's the next one? Uh, that's a real All right, breakup. last question. Okay. Girls watching. You and the girl are watching TV. Okay. Who got the remote? You or her? Me. So you don't support a woman's right to choose? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. And you got 140,000 followers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real nice, real nice kid. Uh, We're up at three o'clock. That was a three-hour episode. Not no, two. No, it's only two. two. It's only two. Oh, was it real? David, anything else it? they wanted to throw out there? Really yeah, quick? absolutely. Shameless plug, bro. I just put out a new new record. Oh yeah, that's right. Tell them what the record. So uh, you can find me Spotify, all the streaming stuff. Bernard Cozy. Uh, I just put a new record out. It's called "The People You Love Will Kill You." That's true. And it's a banger. Oh, it okay. is, and it's it much more band good. driven than his other stuff too, which is not that not that it's a good or a bad thing, but I like that it's just it's just different. You know, you change 
You change the bass to the album every single time, which is good. Yeah, I always sometimes like to more do reggae, something a little sometimes different. Sometimes a little more hip-hop-y. This one is more band-driven. Yeah, I, I kind of went back to my roots. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Went back to the roots. Al, anything? No, but I will agree with the people who love you will kill you because you guys know my blood pressure pretty fucking high. This whole <laughs> yeah. Hey, so it's on good. camera. Now we have it clipped and shipped that he's going to be wrong. I'll be right. Seven wins. Suck it. Eight wins, I win. Suck. Yeah. Fucking easy money. Kid. Jay, fine. Anything easy else? Money. Anything else that you have? No, that was. Uh, I do got to say, I, I, I want to go back and rewatch Halloween now because you guys are making so some good. interesting points. Yeah. Well, yeah, what so did you good. wait? Do you have a take? So I, but I saw Halloween Kills. Like, I didn't even know we had a take. Good. No, it's not. It's not a strong take because, like, That's I would have, I would have to go back and rewatch like the other Halloweens and stuff. But I would say that like, there's a couple of other, th- couple of little things that they could have done to make it like slightly less cheesy. That was that was like you when you said the firefighter scene. Like the first thought of my mind was, okay, well they could have had them not attack him like one at a time, one at a time. You know what I mean? Like that was that was the first thing that popped in my head. But I I get it. It's it's a horror movie, old school horror movies. People do stupid things. It's like it's like the old kind of like you know like cliche like oh someone does something that the audience is screaming like why would you do that right and it and it bites you in the ass right. So I get it, but that's a yeah yeah. yeah. That's Absolutely. it. Just movies in general, like when they go one at a time, it's very so stupid. Yeah, right. it's but that's you the watch point any of it being a fight movie. in the world. It's yeah, multiple yeah, just, people. Yeah. Just all, John McClane and yeah. Die Hard just fighting one guy at a time. Yeah. What? Uh, What's the next point? No, that's pretty much it. That's pretty, <laughs> did you like Halloween Kills? I thought it was pretty good, yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't think it was the best, but like I, I thought it was all right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, absolutely not the worst in the series either. Absolutely rewatch. I would have to rewatch them to say like which one I thought the worst is, but true. Okay. What did you – What now, what do you – have you watched anything recently you want to throw out here? What have I watched recently? Terminal uh, List is really good. Yeah, it's good. Terminal List. Terminal List. Which one's that? It's with Chris Pratt. It's with Chris Pratt's Chris on Pratt. Amazon. I heard that was good, also, actually. Also, uh, season two being recorded because he uh, – Dad Castle just got done with Fast X. Reacher, season two. I'm telling you. If you yeah, like no, a Reacher's good, good – If you like a good fucking series that's like action-packed, but it's also like – he knows every ballistic about every situation. He knows I like allergies. He knows situations. He knows where people that's were. How that iteration is much different than the comic. Like the Tom Cruise movies are a little more. Dude, he and you and he walks around like a fucking tank. He doesn't say shit to nobody. He just fucking walks. You know, there's a lot of people. people that like want him to be the next Batman. The only Alan thing Rickson. I will say, dude, he and and it's funny that you say that. If you watched, also if you watch Titans, I was turned off by Titans at first, but I gave it another oh, yeah, rewatch. Right. Who is he on the, who is Hawk. the Titans? Like Hawk or some whatever the fuck thing he was. I heard that show's ass. It's kind of a little bit all over the place. That is it leads CWE? me. CWE. To... No, like... it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like above that. Okay. Did you guys like the new Batman? I loved it. I, I hated it. Did you? You fucking what? hate it. I was hated just gonna it. say to oh, you guys, Justin. Matt Reeves. You guys Not have a watch the rewatch. You have a watch. Oh, all right, that's it's good to watch Why one time. Like Why didn't you like it? No, you just the hate. whole movie is just raining. I feel like they filmed it in fucking Yo, Seattle. Yo, what the fuck, dude? What, what are you what? talking about? It's fucking climate. Gotham, dude. It's Gotham City. See, the what movie made me depressed. This ain't fucking peaches and cream. We're the fucking movie depressed made me out depressed. Trying to get off the slump. Can you fucking instill some of that? I thought his Bruce, Bruce Wayne Batman sucked. Like, I was entertained by his Batman. Bruce Bruce Wayne it was sucked. dark. I know what he's saying. I feel like the end scene sucked. The end scene sucked. Ending sucked. The Riddler was the best part of the movie until the reveal of who the Riddler was. The next Joker looks horrendous stupid horrendous out, i agree out, out on it 100%. absolutely out yeah, I, have fucking, no, I have you no, mean the one that they made with um break. what's his name no not joaquin, no, not joaquin. love that the, the one in the movie the one in the movie oh, no it's yeah. a new kid stupid. he was in the eternals it's barry keoghan how many times are gonna sell the same fucking story though? i agree uh, yeah, I, I, people I, keep, I, keep buying it too many fucking people keep buying it i would be totally fine if they didn't even put the joke with the way that the movie was portrayed though because i fucking kind of like it it was like a dark detective ass so that's it was so long you ever see zodiac do you ever yeah, see Zodiac with Robert Downey? I don't care how long same, that movie is. Uh, time out. It's the same. That was the same director. And I felt he used Not the Zodiac. Same director. Yes, it, Matt David, Reeves. No, Matt David Fincher directed Zodiac. Okay. No. no. Matt, Reeves Reeves directed, Matt Reeves directed the Planet of the Apes trilogy. All right. That Zodiac movie has correlation to this fucking Batman movie somehow. I know it. I yeah, it's probably that inspired by Zodiac. Yeah, it's inspired by Zodiac. Yeah, he it said that. made almost the same exact fucking way. That's why I thought Did it was intriguing and cool. Like I thought it was. I thought it was all right. That's what I would say. My honest favorite. It's just so, so hot. it's not better it, than The Dark Knight for you? Because I don't think it's better no. than The Dark Knight. No. Get out of here. Goodness. I'm, I'm a Dark Knight pure. Fuck no. Me too. I'm a Dark Fuck Knight. Fuck no. movie. I'm not time. saying that it can't get up that way because a lot of people were down on Batman Begins. Yeah, so I agree. Oh, no, it's a, yeah. What do you mean? That's the first one with Raja Ghul. Yeah. Yeah, is that who it is? Raja Ghul. Yeah, Liam Nielsen's Raja Ghul. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So, they, like, The Dark Knight is, like, a, it's 25 steps up from Batman Begins. Like, it's not even, like, yeah. they, they where really... Would you put the, where would you put Batman Forever? Uh, no, what's that fucking thing? I love called? Batman Forever, personally. If we're going to talk about well, Batman... George Clooney to... Batman? No, 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 no Val Kilmer one. Val oh. Kilmer was cool. I loved, I loved that Like, Val Kilmer, Jim Carrey is the Riddler. Loved that was that fucking movie. sick. I thought it was great. But that what? That's one of the worst rated Batman movies, I'm pretty sure, like, technically, on paper, Technically, yeah. Right? I, I mean, technically. Did yeah, you like Batman Forever? That was in your wheelhouse back in there. That was, you were a kid. Yeah, but the third... Like I said, it's pass fail for me. Entertaining or not. The third one was Bane. I thought it was entertaining. I can't rewatch it. That's movie i'll put on and fall asleep 15 minutes into the morning. that's a good then that's a good nighttime movie that's a good nighttime that's movie all, you talk batman batman the new batman, the new batman. i love the ending sequence when if i put the, the dark knight on to go to bed i'm not going to sleep. question would you I'm say that there was some cool now we're talking technical shit tech uh, cinematography absolutely yeah but i agree with the entertainment absolutely thing. best scene i best actually scene went to the movies the and didn't have my glasses my prescription glasses on and I couldn't see the whole thing. I had to fucking zoom in on my phone and watch on my phone. That's how I know you can see Swear to God. That is bad, dude. I would have called, called the He's getting old. Best scene, best scene of the whole movie is in the beginning when they call him to the first fucking murder scene. And he shows you how the people portray Batman. He walks yeah. amongst them. He doesn't walk in the shadows. So but it they has hate him. Cool so like elements. the whole fucking thing is like when he I also the love, I also moves. love the uh, the Riddler reveal like at the beginning of the movie, that first scene that it, scared the shit out of me. It absolutely thought it was awesome. has cool elements. Is it a rewatch for me? No. Did it need I, to be like three it. hours long? No. Probably not. Two uh, two hours and like nah, 20 minutes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. At the end, that was fu- at the end was fucking crazy, dude. I thought it ended the four end times. Was, I thought the end it was four I, times. Thought I thought it did too. The end was fucking ridiculous. He's up on that catwalk. He's fighting fucking, of course, one by one person. But yo, he got fucking dropped. And then the guy with the shotgun takes like this. I'm like, bro, come the fuck on. Batman's sitting down there on a fucking ledge, blast his fucking head open. That's so ridiculous. Well, like, I think in movies in general, they the take muzzle, they take throws it so down. long to shoot. Then it's you crazy. thought he died when he fell in the fucking water in the electrical water. Now he gets up, it's fucking Batman. So I, 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 I can't wait for the sequel, personally. I'm also mad they're not doing another Justice I think League. we're all going to watch the sequel. I we're think all going to watch, watch the sequel. sequel. I'll watch yeah, it. Of course. When we all went I'll to go see it. Top Gun, that was a blast. Top Gun was fucking Top Gun was, was fucking great. amazing. Phenomenal. Great Absolutely Definitely phenomenal. Definitely should have watched the first one, but it's okay. I had it's Al so next to me. Better now, than the first one. You don't even need it to. Wasn't that, it wasn't You didn't have to watch it like that, that much, but like the little tie-ins of like how Iceman and like his fucking goose gossage and how the You're just never fucking prepared. That's what I've come to. You didn't watch the movie today. At least you didn't give us the wrong address to get here, though. That's yeah, that's, that's you know prime. you have a valid point. So I had fun today. Yeah, no, thanks. You know for what, Jay? Me. Fine. Yeah, can I ask you a question? Fun. Actually, yeah, yeah, for sure. Can you explain Hedge Better to me? Yeah. So Hedge Better is a. Oh, this is actually a good question by Alex. Like it's this. a peer-to-peer sports betting platform okay. that removes the need for bookmaking. So it essentially allows. Don't tell people. that to our family. <laughs> oh, I, I, we, I talked to your family actually yeah. about it. Yeah. Don't tell uh, that to our family. We, you know, we had a nice long talk about it, but I, it removes the need. I'm sorry, when I say it removes the need for bookmaking, it removes the need for sports books to uh, handicap and be accurate with their handicapping because it's a peer to peer platform that essentially allows people to be creative and make any bet they want, any lines, any odds. Um, and we give you a ton of different. Uh, varieties and methods of doing so and there's a ton of things that i can't really talk about on air that are not uh not part of traditional sports betting right so So, yeah yeah, so stuff that we go a little into a little bit of detail on the website so on hedge better uh www.hedgebetter.com we give you some of the details some of the high level stuff uh i'll share some of the the more intimate details with you guys off the air um but basically what we're trying to do is kind of put the odds back in like the players' hands, right? It's basically – we look right. at it as the most profitable way to bet sports. So we're maximizing profits. We're minimizing losses. Um, it's a peer-to-peer model. Like I said, everything's customizable and we give you a secondary market for the buying and selling of your sports bets to uh, to hedge losses and lock in profits. Almost similar to like a stock market. Right. Cool. So, so I could – essentially I could bet with him saying uh, – Patriots going to be over seven wins or whatever, just me versus him. Yeah. Is that how it kind of works? For sure. 100%. Win. And uh, so you could cool settle all, all, every argument you have, you could settle through this app. You could right? settle everything through the app and you could decide exactly what odds and parameters yeah. you want for every single bet. So Maybe you'll never, for instance, like, you know, sometimes on like another sports book, you know, I won't name names, but like, let's say you want to tweak it and say the line is seven points and you want to tease it to eight or nine points, right? Yeah. Sportsbook's going to tell you, okay, if you do that, well, here's your new odds. 
but you get to say, all right, I want to make it nine points and here are the odds I want. And you get to submit that to somebody, right? And then someone so can take that someone offer. can take it. They can counter offer. They can reject it. You know, there's there's all sorts oh, of wow. things that we do. Um, cool. But yeah, the goal is to essentially put the ultimate like creativity and power like into the sports better's hands. Give you guys the ultimate tools to succeed and make money. Yeah, kind of uh, like that. That's kind of sick. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. I like fuck with that. And I want to hear from his mouth because you hear from Marco and he can't even understand, he can't even explain things. So yeah, I don't. I don't tell my company. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You know? It's uh, no, there's a lot to unpack. In this kid, he it. Well, no, it's funny because people uh, people will be like, "Oh, explain it in like 30 seconds." I'm like, "You can't really explain it in 30 yeah, seconds." Yeah, yeah. But it's, no, uh, you can't explain that. Though. No, it's it's yeah, peer to peer sports concept. betting, buying and selling sports bets, completely customizable. Nice, so that's yeah. dope. It's yeah. Very sick. I want to thank our sponsors again, Uplift and Sp- uh, Sideline Sports Bar and Grill in Salem, Mass. Um, thank you guys. Um, Happy to have you guys here today. I would like to do another episode. You guys want to do another? Yeah, one? I think I want to hear what the people have to say. I think it's going to have to be like maybe like a one month, you know, recap. We have to stop down in here at Hedge Better and uh, fucking throw down. Yeah, whether it stays, and, whether it stays as mass appeal or it becomes its own podcast on its own. Well, so actually, if you boys are interested, so we're doing, uh, we got a little thing we're working on behind the scenes, and we need a good name for it too. But it's essentially going to be like a uh, like a challenge based show for different groups of content creators or podcasts, things like that. So instead of having – think of it like uh, like the challenge on MTV, right? But instead of it having be random people, all three of us, it would be – uh, and say we would 1,000% be in for that. Is, it, it, it should be pretty fun. We got some, we got some cool events that we want to line up. Um, what do you think you want to do? Uh, what's a couple of them? We have uh, – Trivia, that would be tough for a lot of competition – coming up against this sure, I mean, uh, we had one that was like a scavenger hunt around Boston but not it was it was kind of like a riddle based scavenger hunt uh, so it would involve like too. involve a bunch of different shit there was a cooking competition oh, uh, just that's what we got we got something for everybody right now from what it sounds like there's one honestly so I, I, this one might sound stupid but I think it would put people to the test it's like you ever, have you ever done one of those painting classes yeah, yeah. So you'd have to do it as a team. I fucking smoke everybody. But you, no, no, no. You'd have cool. to do it as a team. So like he'd yeah, start no, the painting, then you'd take over, then you, and then you finish it. We so don't like, have touch. You know what I mean? It's I just, actually love that. It's just, yeah. I feel like we fucking win in that too. A little shit like that. Make sure they them go like dizzy bat to start. Oh yeah, or slug a bottle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or like drink a whole bottle of wine before you start. Listen, as a team, as a team, it's like a case. Drinking a whole bottle. It's like a case. I'll be looking for the nearest. It's like a. It's like a case race, but. With a painting. That's actually a great fucking twist. Some dizzy bat before yeah, yeah, right. you get all case the case race, yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. start to paint case and paint. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. That all wraps up this week's yeah, show. Yeah, no, thanks for having us. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah. Time. Yeah. It was fucking Thank fun. Coming down. Glad Appreciate you guys. Maybe maybe one that to lower their uh, their volume a little bit when I'm screaming. I don't yeah, know. I don't know, man. That there was at one point we were fucking yelling. So hey, we're all right. that was like, a good time. Yeah, there yeah. we go. I had a great time. We will see you guys. Uh, we will see you guys next weekend. Uh, next week. Next week. Sorry, La Familia is out. Yeah.